Now, fucking great. I'm perfect. Yo, Jewel, thanks for the raid. Can't believe it. You went this this long just for the raid, huh? Crazy. Can't believe you just didn't go all the way until what's in the box. Who knows if we'll even have a what's in the box stream today? Did Elite say anything about the schedule? Dude, move your chocobo. I literally just showed my screen. What's today? Today is the 11th. Okay. Should be okay. Age. What's up? Happy Friday. Friday gamers, alcoholics, all alike. Like, fix two things really quick because I did in I had to download and update Windows yesterday. That was fun, that was cool and crazy. Oh, wow, I have to update Java runtime and mix it up and chatty. Everything has to update, huh? Gabber, what's up? Happy birthday properly today and not. In the middle of the night where I don't know who I am. At the boy kitchen. Making boy juices. Did you just wish me a happy Friday? Well. Well. That you don't you don't like Fridays? I know you start like work and whatnot, but you know, like Fridays are like kind of goaded for everyone else. What do you want me to say, man? What do I say? Our job updates together with the OS. <gasps> if only I could play games like Final Fantasy XIV. I probably could, actually, honestly. I just wonder what the restrictions are to that. Start work on Monday this week. Then what's wrong with Friday? What are you raging me for? Destiny, on the other hand, not the biggest loss. Not not the not the biggest loss. Not gonna lie. No. Destiny, oh, like. Kind of going through a crisis right now. It's going through its midlife crisis again for the third time in the past since it released. You know, since Destiny 1 released, not Destiny 2. Destiny 1. It's, it's gone through everything. <laughs> it's gone through everything, bro. You just have three more days of work. So you start on Monday and now you have three more days. Oh, you have a full week of work. God damn. I've actually been planning out 
Not even longer streams, but just longer stream. Hmm. I guess I would say more days to stream, not longer days of something, right? Longer streams, yes. More stream days, probably. But I don't know when to do streams on Saturdays. Marbles is very, like, either consistent or inconsistent in the best ways possible because it depends on whether or not people redeem more races. Because if it ends around 5 or 6, I can go live around, like, 6, stream for a little bit. I was supposed to be on vacation, but my boss keeps calling me because they don't have people. Well, you can tell your boss to suck a fat one. It's your vacation. Unless they want to pay you during your vacation time for every call you take. Unless your boss is a really good boss. See, mine was okay, but uh, she would call me during vacation to help because apparently other people just didn't know what to do. So I would frequently respond with, that's a shame. See you in two weeks. That's a shame. <laughs> See you in a few days. I wouldn't answer calls. One even at cleaning, but she has no one. Well, then she can clean herself, question mark. No. Is she too high and mighty to clean a few things? I'm sorry, I'm very toxic to uh, towards bosses, <clears throat> and I always will be. Even if I have the best boss in the world, I know, deep down, they're a shitter in some way, shape, or form. So if you guys ever have a good boss and you tell me about them, just just assume I'm still like viewing them in the worst possible mindset. Exactly, she's too fancy for that. Well, there you go. <clears throat> I have a very falsified positive light towards anyone who owns a business and, like, hires people. It's no better in Europe as it is in America, so... It's rough. It's rough. So you're on vacation and they're calling you. You're, aren't you from Spain? That might be a very insulting thing. I hope that I was right. Might have been Portugal. <clears throat> have other boss who would do it. She actually helped us for two weeks when it was not her job. Because the other boss took people from us. You're Portuguese? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. And I don't know why I said Spain. I know why I said Spain. Because recently I found a Final Fantasy streamer and she's from Spain. That is... That is exactly why and so i defaulted to remembering spain over portugal i'm very sorry i know it's a ma like a major insult that's like if i went to my friends that i hung out with and told them hey you're from cuba right and they'd be like what i'm from brazil i hear portugal is a lot nicer if, it, if all things, if you would consider one thing as an apology, I hear that Portugal is a lot nicer to visit than Spain. And so, so much so that I'm willing to visit Portugal one day. You live in Germany? Well, that's the worst part. I'm so sorry about that. Juvie's not even here. And I'm already attacking Germany. España. Wait, so is España... In different languages, it's, it's typed differently, right? So, like... What the hell? Oh, lightning. Does... Does España not have the N with the... The... You know? The thing? The N? But the N has, like, the... the yeah, that thing. What is the thing called? Tilde? Yeah.
Is that normally how it's how it's written, or is it written España N I A? It is Portugal usually better in tourism reception than uh, compared to Spain, though English tourists are not always the best. Well, that's okay, because I wouldn't be an English tourist. I would be a, a Polish tourist. Smile. I would bring my Polish passport. It has in Portuguese, at least. Espanha. The end is pronounced like... Enye. Espanha. A German keyboard doesn't have it. Oh, okay. España. Es España. No VR chat? No, I have to update the schedule. I thought I made that clear yesterday, but I forgot that you didn't realize that Yon was a streamer for, for a while now. I'm already swinging as Juvie. He just got here, bro. Sorry, Juvie. I played played up last night, alright? I'm I'm swinging out of frustration of playing played up. At 3 in the morning. Kitsua, thank you for paying your taxes. What's up? I know I'm running around in a circle like an idiot, but I'm trying to talk to chat before I start reading dialogue. With whom? With Fausto, Gabby, and Coconut. Gabby decided that for his birthday, we're going to play Played Up. Coffee shop? First, we did the bakery. That was awful. And then we did the coffee shop. The coffee shop was great, Smile. It was great. It was, it was honestly... <clears throat> it wasn't that bad. It's just that... Opens Microsoft Paint. If this was the map, right? Right? This was the map of played up. This was the setup. And then here's like Entrance door one. Here's another door. There's no doors here. And then there was only space for like a table here, a table here, and a table here. Oh, and a table here. But this table was only one chair. And then this was two chairs. This was two chairs. This was two chairs. And this is the whole kitchen. And this this was the, the coffee area, but then it became the tea area. And then this became the tea area and the coffee area. And everything was just hell. And that was played up. It's fun. You land with macaroni. It is Friday. This is not VR chat, Mr. Koyo. Are you gonna be Juvie as well, you land? When I start playing Baldur's Gate 3 with Winter, I have to stop your stream for performance reasons. I get it, Juvie. That's it's cool. All good. Got Battle of the Gate 3 today, so hopefully, uh, eventually I'll get to play it with, if my teething and sick child lets me. It's simple. Drug your child with NyQuil. <laughs> then play. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yo, chill, 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 chill with the music, man. God damn. He's not old enough for that? Understandable. Do not do not drug your child with NyQuil. Give him the Gerber solution, but the one that puts them to sleep. Sorry, my baby my bra baby brother was at my keyboard, clearly. Oh, that's okay. NyQuil chicken? Guys, wait, stop writing that down. Do not note down. A pregnancy test could run a stream at 160p. I think you're giving Juvi way too much of a Benefit of the doubt for his German internet. In countryside Germany.
Just do the classic giving them a controller not connected to TV and say it's them playing. I feel like kids are actually too smart for that these days. Although it depends how old the child is, I guess. I went we went to a doctor and they basically said give him ibuprofen and cope. That's so funny. You know when I got COVID for the first time and I was dying? The doctor told me to take an Advil and drink plenty of water. And they didn't say I had COVID, by the way. They checked me and they said, oh, he'll be fine. Drink uh, drink plenty of water and take an Advil like twice a day. And I was like, Doc, I'm dying. I know an Advil will help with like, the fever and the water will too. But what about the rest of COVID-19? <laughs> what, what, what about the rest of it? What am I supposed to do about, you know, the coughing, the throat problems? The nose, the eyes, the searing eye pain. I guess the Advil too, I suppose. Maybe he wasn't all that wrong. I mean, there was nothing else to do about it. I mean, that's true, I guess. I mean, sometimes the doctor just is right. And we hate to say it. I guess so. Although, you know, I'm old. And not a young child, so, you know, you know how it be. Five miles. Did Juvie drive with you today? Yeah, there's no VR chat today. Well, technically, there is VR chat because of what's in the box. Um... What's in the box do be happening? I'm a little concerned we have more people than we can actually have. That I am unsure about. We shall see. Hopefully there's not too many people. I'll just sit out if there are because I'm the reason that we made that server in the first place for everyone that wants to play. What's in the box? I will have to sit it out if it really comes down to it. Because I made the server to include everybody, but then I realized if I had not said anything about the group chat in the first place, we don't have this problem. And now we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people. So three people always have to sit out. Beach is sitting out already. Not that bad. Well... Bisha and Leaf will probably sit it out. I already know that. But then, what if today, all of a sudden, Proxy, Otis... Well, actually, Proxy will not show up, and I can tell you why. He started stream at 4 a.m., and he's still live. No, sorry. He, str he started stream at 3 a.m. And played Final Fantasy XIV. And said that he slept through the entire day. So he'll probably end stream and go to bed. So maybe we'll be fine. I'm not even on the list. No offense, Juvie, but the reason you're not on the list is because you were always desktop, and we don't want desktop people in what's in the box. We're a little racist. Elite is basically the only person we allow to be in desktop. And even Yulin's not happy with that. Not to call Yulin out. But I have VR. Whoa, 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 whoa. For the past, like, three years, you did not use your VR. Therefore, meaning that... You see VR chat right now? I don't. I'm the most racist against desktop what's in the box players, and that's okay. Because I hate desktop players too. Because I couldn't. I'm Do you think I'm attacking you? <laughs> I'm just saying that you you were not in VR, so we didn't accept you into I mean you never even ask about what's in the box. What's what's in the box? So What's in the box is this crazy mini game thing where I'm going to open up paint again. Because I'm better at explaining things in this sort of thing. So anyways, here's what's in the box. I'm going to make this darker because it hurts my eyes a little bit. Anyways, so. Uh, the way it works is you get a bunch of boxes in the middle here. And they show you either an image... Or uh, play audio. And like, here's, here's I don't know, a crazy example or something. Uh, over here is... 
Chimchar, the Pokemon. Pokemon Chimchar, right? So this is the first ring. Here's Pokemon Chimchar. And over here is the first, like, insertion thing where you put one of the boxes. You have to put one of these boxes into here. Depending on whether or not it matches whatever it says above this thing. So let's say in this case it says, um... I'm just gonna type it out. Did- okay. Digimon. 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 It wouldn't be this simple, but just assume for this moment that it is this simple. It'd be something like... If it's going to be Digimon, it would be the sound of a Digimon. I don't think they would give you, like, the appearance of one. I don't even know- I don't remember the last time we had Pokemon as an image thing. But anyways... Yeah, it says Digimon. You have Chimchar, uh, and you have to look around all of these boxes, and one of them will have something that corresponds to Digimon. In this case, you have the sound of Chimchar. I don't know, making some noise. And, I don't know, the Digimon Digital Monsters opening from America that Juvie hates. I don't know why it looks like legs, just assume that is a musical note. So you would grab this box, toss it in, and then a new a new one of these things would appear. Over here. Like in this corner. And this one would probably say something like Pokemon. Or I don't know, something like... Something that corresponds with a Chimchar. Then you put it in, and then, you know, you get another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And each circle, there's nine circles, each circle has a theme that relates to the boxes that you match into... One of the many deposits. I could boot up VR chat and literally show you for two seconds, but um, I have none of my VR stuff set up because you know I was away and I was too lazy to set it back up. Um, and I don't want to get in desktop. All right, I'm over this music. Let me find something else to play. Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's what's in the box. Yeah, it's basically a matching game, but, uh, with a few twists. The twists aren't anything insane, but, like, you can get a category that is phenomenal. Um, what was the one that we, like, really screwed up last time? Let me see, what's in the box? Why limit to VR? I will tell you in just a second. Let me just read this. I'm going to show you guys this right now. So, here's like the final, final screen thing, right? Pay no mind to the fact that our team Dream Shelter here, the green line here, we won, by the way. Uh, so, we're still the winners thus far. Until this week. Unless we do win. Here's a picture of us winning, by the way. Not to show off or anything, but we did win. This is me, the ghost. Um, and, uh, that's Fausto. This is Proxy. Uh, this is... Beach. This is Brooke. This is Elite. That's Emery and Glenn. And, uh, and that's Uland. Yeah, we won. We were crazy. Uh, anyways. So, here's, like, the whole thing. We butchered villain songs, I think. Yeah. Villain songs and How Hollywood Died were kind of, like, difficult things. You would get a picture of, like, the actor from Hollywood, and you would have to match it to what happened. Like, how they died or something. Or villain songs was, quite literally, the name above the thing was the name of the villain or, like, the show. And you would have to hear and listen to the song and match it to whatever it is. And sometimes, it is stuff from, like, the 80s, and who the hell knows anything about the 80s? No one. The girl in front of Emery was pre ho arc Emery. True. Emery changed. Rockstar owns 5M. I don't know. Do they own it or are they collaborating? Honestly, I wouldn't be too upset if they're collaborating, but if they bought out 5M, it's Jover. Why limit it to VR? Doesn't seem like desktop would give an advantage. So. It's not that we limit it to VR. It's that... 
Desktop has one gigantic downside. First and foremost, with VR, you can hold two boxes. So if you know two of the things, you're already two steps ahead for any of the future, like, things to deposit. That's number one. Two hands equals way faster at being prepared to toss things in. Secondly, secondly, one of the more important factors, the uh, desktop kind of struggles to, like, deposit things sometimes because if you have a even if you have a taller avatar desktop has this tendency to like toss the box forward while you move so like i don't know how to explain it it's it's just momentum related i mean we have people who are really good with the desktop stuff but it's just an advantage i don't know Probably the beginning of the end, not to be tinfoil hat, but yeah, I agree. I agree. I think 5M is... doomed. <laughs> Unless Rockstar really- I don't know, man. I don't know. Rockstar's been getting doing some sus shit lately. I, I... So it's actually a disadvantage? Yeah, desktop is a little bit of a disadvantage, but we can probably... Like... I don't know, we still have desktop, uh, VR users who end up missing the, the thing, so. There's a new clip if you want to gamble with your dog water rolls. This is it. What is that? He's a boat. He turned into a boat, of course he did. Zuby. <laughs> Zuby has this boat avatar. Zuby, stop being a boat! <laughs> stop being a boat! Zuby ruining my immersion as usual. Bro, just like became a. <laughs> That's so funny. First roll. Technically, it's the third roll because my first and second roll were the shoutouts, and the first roll was muted. As per usual, we love audio. Yeah, what's in the box is at nine. And we will obviously keep our title today. It's not ruining immersion. It's the shrooms kicking in. Right. The shrooms in World of Warcraft. I guess you're right. I could see it. Um, Yeah, desktop is a little bit of a disadvantage. I don't I wouldn't say a major one, but like small enough where it's like uh better off having VR. But it's not a big deal because we still win. So we're just that good. We're just that goddamn good. And if we don't win, we usually get second, and second we're like literal seconds behind. Like I think our worst loss was like two minutes behind, but we got destroyed one one week, one month, one one once in the box session. By the way, today is the 69th. What's in the box? 69th. Volume 69. And he gave us a little bit of a preview. I don't know what it means. If you know, you know. But this could be quite a lot of things. In terms of theme. In terms of theme. Are we just going to get hit with Beetlejuice? Are we going to get hit with like... Who knows? We'll have to wait and see, I guess. I don't even know who's, like, ready for what's in the box. I'm sure we'll have nine people, but nonetheless. Either way. BGM 50. Pause the music. All the bangers. BGM 100, question mark? No, because there's no music playing right now. Of course not. 
you guys care? Do you want music playing at all times? I'm going to play lo-fi for myself. Just to have something to listen to. If you want me to play this music, I could. I've been playing for myself. Just, just cause. That I have, like, something to focus on. I could use some shrooms. Shrooms weren't, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad for what's in the box. It could be a huge perk. A huge upgrade. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, I agree. After played up, I feel that way too. I feel like I'm dying. We chose to do played up at 3 in the morning. 4. The life of the party. Life of the party. Rockstar buying communities seems unusual when they are rather aggressive against them. Well, I'm going to give you the real reason why I feel like they didn't just DMCA and take down 5M. Um, they would get shit on. <laughs> like, I don't think Rockstar could afford to take down the one thing that kept their games alive. And by games, I mean two whole games. Yeah, so Rockstar bought 5M, and 5M is, like, a major community modded, like, thing for GTA and for Red Dead. Uh, it is what runs no pixel. It's what runs, like, a bunch of Red Dead RP servers and GTA RP servers, basically. Um, and they chose to buy 5M, Rockstar. I, I don't know if they bought it or if they're collaborating. I'm assuming they bought it. Because that's what everyone's saying. Um, I'm a, I'm a bit of a doomer when it comes to this. Because I don't ever have faith in Rockstar to do anything right. With something like that. But. Basically they bought it. Or are collaborating. Which is a good step. Because they didn't just DMCA and get rid of 5M. Because they don't approve of like modding games and stuff. But, it's also Rockstar, and uh, judging by their decision to release Red Dead 1 on PlayStation 5 and 4 and whatever, and, well, on the Switch, but it's just a port and not even an upgrade or, like, remake or anything, I don't think they've been making too many good decisions lately. Not 5, only 4? Oh, okay, great. Even better. I... I am a huge Rockstar fan because most of the games they make, when it's not a remake, are very good. GTA 5 is one of my like most played games, just because all I do is get on and just drive around like an idiot and online. Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of my most played games. One of my favorite games that I ever streamed. Granted, it was one of the numerically worst games I ever streamed. It was still one of the greatest games I ever streamed. You can play on 5 with downwards compatibility, though. Lamau. Rockstar, when it comes to games, they do good. Yeah. Uh, Rockstar, when, they come to, when it comes to releasing a new game, they do good. Rockstar, when they want to remaster a game, or Rockstar, when they want to... I don't know, do something like... Find a, a hacker or buy a community. Uh, it's doomed to fail. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know. Just enjoy 5M and Red M while, the, while they last, I suppose. I don't know, but it's just an unlink and relink. For what? What happened? Your Discord will not go purple. I'm in streamer mode. Um, do you launch your OBS in administrator mode? No. 
No. That could be one of the reasons. If that does not fix it, Discord is cringe and sometimes chooses not to do it. Um... And what I had to do is literally download Discord PTB for it to show up again for a while. But usually it has to do with OBS not being admin mode. That tends to be the problem. Also, if you launch Discord in admin mode, uh, it'll overwrite over OBS and it won't become purple. What'd you say, Fasto? Or what were you going to say? Uh-huh. Well, it has a major value to them because it saved their <laughs> saved their games. It kept They prolonged the games. So you guys didn't hear, but Fausto said um, if they bought it, then it has some sort of value to it. Didn't work. Wait, it didn't work how? You have to be live for it to go purple. I get a purple bar across Discord saying I'm in stream room, but the status will not go purple. Maybe it will work tomorrow then? Yeah, so when you go live, it'll go purple. It will be delayed for like two minutes or so, because I don't know how it works, but... Something like that. Yeah, so you have that. As long as you have the streamer mode enabled thing, it's already partially working. Now you have to just see whether or not it'll purple icon you or not. Yeah, the purple bar used to be the guarantee, but now it's just like... Didn't turn purple when I streamed on my PS5. That Well, that, well actually, that could work if you... I think if you... Use you have to link both your PlayStation account and your Twitch, and it might work. I think you really, really want the purple status. Yeah, I think it just has to do with um, OBS not being in uh, in admin mode. If not, another thing that you can check is under the activity settings. It's like one of the last settings in Discord. Activity settings under activity privacy. Make sure that it says display... No, uh, I have that one disabled. Share your activity status by default when joining large servers. I think you have that enabled because we can see you when you play games. The other option is the display current activity as a status message, st status message but I'm pretty sure you have that. Everything is active on that page? Okay. Then let's... I hope that admin mode mode works. Yeah, because you have your Twitch enabled. If you have your Twitch connected and you have your OBS in admin, then it shouldn't be a reason it doesn't do it, but... Discord plus Twitch is great. How else would anyone know you on this live? Well, true. I won't be tomorrow, by the way. Sister-in-law's birthday party. That's okay. Beware. Beware, Mr. Huey. You've watched like five videos on this? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, you could test account it, I guess. You can connect it, but... I wish they had a better way to test whether or not you're, whether or not you're live, but... Discord! Every video is like, turn on streamer mode enabled, and that's it. It's literally impossible for it not to work now. Thanks for watching and give me a like and subscribe. Right. You're missing tomorrow's stream? A Saturday stream, question mark. I'm going to unmute you. Hold on. I also said that that's how they get you, Yolens. It's one guy, all different videos. <laughs> just more ad revenue. <laughs> I thought about that once. What if someone had a bunch of alternate accounts, right? 
And they made the same tutorial over and over and over again. But they had their friends voice over them instead. And some of them aren't even voiced over. They just use, like, TTS. Notepad. I have a browser on him to tell me when he's live because Twitch can't manage to their own notif notifications to work. True. True. Home for Koyo's stream. Um, I don't know what time it'll be yet. So, if if there will even be one, I do want to stream tomorrow. All things considered, I just don't know time constraints. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, as far as Red M and 5M and like Rockstar and everything, it, it makes sense because 5M literally carried their games for several years now. I think the GTA 5 player count has only been so high because of 5M. Genuinely. So like... I don't know, man. But I'm also a doomer. I agree with Elite. I think it's the beginning of the end. I think they're going to start like hardcore monetizing 5M somehow and then we're doomed to fail. We'll have to wait and see, but I don't have any like positive viewpoint towards it aside from at least they didn't DMCA it. They want to see if they can get extra subscriptions for GTA Plus and the GTA RP scene is probably ideal for that. I don't even think they're going to use 5M for GTA 6. What if now they're just going to delay GTA 6 some more? Because they're like, that with our collab with 5M, we can create some crazy awesome things. The GTA RP scene is probably the ideal for that. Yeah, but people in the GTA RP scene, like NoPixel, already pay a monthly fee usually for... They don't have to, but they do. To support the NoPixel-like community. This is just NoPixel. I don't know about other servers. I totally just like delayed completing this quest for 46 minutes. Do you know that on the uh, the Phoenix Riser outfit it has XIV, XIV on it? Yeah. You will tag me in the uh, in the group chat Let's yesterday. Go. I was like, "Yo, XIV, on a fancy XIV." Woo! And then it has a little like logo down below or on the back. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Thick. It also has it on the belt in the front. Yeah. It's not good news at the end of the day. Sadly, nothing good can be expected of it. Yeah. Well. I'm going to try to stay as positive, positive as I can. But it's very difficult. At least 5M and Red M did not get DMCA'd. I'm sure they're going to be riding about it. We'll just have to wait and see how things pan out. We'll have to wait and we'll have to see. Currently, I have to say I don't really have too many positive emotions towards Rockstar in general. So that definitely doesn't help with trying to see the bright side of Rockstar buying out 5M, but yeah. I don't know. We can cope and hope, I guess. I'm doing Hockey Mana, and mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this tank just went completely upstairs past the eye. To uh -huh. the left side wing upstairs of the uh, the manor. Uh huh. And all that's over here is a chest, and a bunch of like wisps that shoot fire at you. Huge. And we already killed the eye to go to the boss fight, but we're just up here fighting the wisps that shoot fire at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this. He's like old school. He wants to clear the entire dungeon. Everything. Well, it wasn't even worth it because, like, in the chest was something for Thaumaturge, but no one's Thaumaturge. Uh, I am. Get it for me. Can't even sell it. 
already have like a bunch of thaumaturge stuff anyway. You require assistance. It's definitely adventure. higher than level twenty-three. So this is the one who would challenge Titan. I've been expecting you, Senna. The ingredient you seek is the egg of a giant adamantois. Hello? Shearing egg. We're in the server. The method of acquisition should be obvious. You steal it from the beast's nest, of course. Simple in theory, but difficult in execution. Most who try die in the attempt. Will I help you get it? Ha, huh, you amuse me. I will not jeopardize my position by openly assisting you. From me, you will, you will receive only information. What you do with it is your choice. What a dick. Uh, if, it's the, it, if it was the Taurus staff, then yeah, it's probably better. But I do have Velveteen Ten but, wait. Finger Stuff. What? Ten Finger Stuff, level 28. Damn, it would have been better for me. Sag. Is it item level 30? Uh, I will tell you after this cutscene. Let me be clear. This business between you, me, and the captain must remain a secret. See, I don't regret my time spent with the company in the slightest. Traveling the world, meeting interesting people, killing them. It was all jolly good fun. Huh? Alas, Gridanians are, by and large, an unforgiving lot. The toe here being a rare exception. I've had to... Uh, I've had to go to great lengths to ensure that I am seen as a model citizen with no taste for drinking, whoring, gambling, and all other activities I so dearly miss. Huh? I forgot how real Realm Reborn is with dialogue, man. Jeez. So understand that <laughs> if you ruin my little charade by wagging your tongue, I'll fashion a noose with your entrails and hang you from the nearest heaven heavens pillar. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a perfectly good animal mantois egg in a nest to the east of here. Just ripe for the taking. How old were you when you found out that Gridania was racist? I didn't have to be. I already knew that everything in this game is racist. Even the players. <laughs> okay. I expect you to live long enough to claim it. Well, it's not an okay thing. How many people hate Lalafels? That's basically a racist thing. I got two player commendations, let's go. W. I never got to give anyone one because they left instantly. That's kind of real, honestly. I would do the same. <laughs> you know, it's just the eighth or hospitality. The mother never strays far from the child, and you will surely be attacked the moment you lay hands upon the egg. There will be the other hero, Senna. You do not need to challenge Titan. Abandon your quest, or your corpse will run this swamp. Thank you, man. Iko. Okay, man. Is it racist if I hate half races in games? Yes. You're just half racist. <laughs> like half elves and halflings? <laughs> They're still a race, so yes. No, it's only half racist. They're abominations. Yulin. That's literally racist. Fertile and Yulin. weak. Oh my god. I think he's pretty real for it, honestly. No. Half elves are pretty ugly. Yeah, I don't know what they look like. IRL half bloods aren't viable. All right, Draco Malfoy, relax a little. Bit. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> Getting a little too based. This one's very racist. That's okay, because he likes Night Elves. So he's already, like, winning. When a lion and a and really tiger racist. mix, you get a, a liger. They cannot reproduce and don't live past the age of two. A donkey and a horse can make a mule. Infertile. <laughs> <laughs> Me a half-elf warlock? Oh, no. La resista. <laughs> oh. I need to find that video. Oh, I sent this stupid video to Gabby. It's fine, I am human. Oh, let's just pick the most, like, basic thing and just say it's fine. I thought you might have a good sense. Have the sen a good sense to leave this place. By your continued presence, I take it you intend to per persevere to the bitter end. Uh, yeah, take the damn egg. 
Aha, such braver, bravery, such recklessness. That will serve you well against Titan. Leave the egg with me. I'll see what, see that it gets to the captain. You should, you should make haste towards Southern Thailand. In Forgotten Springs, you will find a man named Noon. <laughs> he will be your next guide. Safe travel, Senna. Thanks. I get 25% more carry capacity. What for being human? But a warlock too. Half elf is vile, but a warlock too. Yulin. Why do you get 25% more carry capacity as a human? You're a warrior as well? You're a mule, basically? I guess so. God damn. Warlocks are a plague messing with forces they don't comprehend. <laughs> Good. Someone has to. Estoy loco. Estoy loco. They're a danger to everyone around them. But I want to play a warlock. I have like 50 paintings and 100 mushrooms on me. It's D&D. &D, everyone's a danger around each other. We should, we should like get a mod for Baldur's Gate where if one person dies, everyone dies. <laughs> Would you rather be a the paladin? Soul link. You can't do shit. <laughs> Say your business, adventurer. Ha 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 ha. So this is the you one Wastecat oh, sends me. I haven't the foggiest. I haven't the foggiest what he sees in you. And until I do, you will receive no aid from me. Why is he rolling his R's? You will receive no aid from me. Yo, direct I have 50 hit. paintings and 100 mushrooms on me. He's Skype. You should have seen how much stuff he had on him when, uh, when we were playing Divinity. Paintings was the least of his worries. The amount of mushrooms he had was insane too. I knew from my divinity times that you should take them, even if they weigh 50. <laughs> oh, you want to something? When I played Divinity 2 with, uh -huh. um, it was modded with like two friends. See, that's and the problem. That's the one I didn't enjoy, right? No, but like, listen to this. The build that they were going for was to use like a gravity magic, carry this crate, put a bunch of items in that crate, and throw it at people, and it would just one shot them. Because the weight of that item would just like, like you know, it would just die of physical damage. And so it was just him gravitating around a crate the entire game. And it was like for the first run. And I just, I was like, this is so stupid. <laughs> there are like so many problems with your first run that you ever did of Divinity. First, so, first of all, being that it's modded. Why? And secondly, the fact that they did, they carried it around a crate to one shot people. It's just. And uh, I think there was other mods and stuff too, but it was basically all revolving around like, oh, I'm just going to like one shot things. That's great. And it's like, okay, cool. I never really get a turn. He was about to say the kill children mod. The only mod you need in a first run is kill children. I knew it, bro. I knew it. You know, I haven't met a lot of German people, but from the few I have, it's always kill children. <laughs> and I really want to know why. Koyo, you won't believe the children in Baldur's Gate 3. Uh oh. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, don't worry, Ty. He's talking about killing them. Nothing more, nothing less. I already confirmed you can't kill them without a mod. Hi, I played um, Divinity Original Sin. You might with, not be able to kill them with you Juvie, them in other ways. Glenn and Yuland. Like, can you kill their dog? No, probably not. There's some things that you just cannot kill, and like if they have a games. dog, just like smite that bitch. Well, you, I mean, traumatizing kids isn't worth it, because then they'll just become worse. Yeah, but then that's when you can actually kill them when they become worse, because it's justified. But they won't grow b before the end of the gameplay. Oh, well, I don't know. You can pretend you did. It's in lore. Anyways, Juvie killed many, many things. Mostly the, uh... <laughs> when we were done with an area in Divinity, like, if we were done with, I don't know, Port Royal or whatever it was called, or any of that stuff, 
We Jibu would go there before we left for the next area, and he would kill every single NPC. He would kill all of the NPCs. Fort Joy, thank you. I don't know why I said Port Royal. Port Joy, yeah. Isn't Port Royal like RuneScape? Port Royal might be... Parts of the Caribbean. Oh my god, Wrath of the Titan. Port Royal. Ah, well. What level quests are you on? Quests. Um... Like I said. Port Royal is from Pirates of the Caribbean, Jamaica. It's actually it's actually a real place. I just realized. <laughs> it's, guys, it's not fake. It's not from media. It's real. Foxy says he's na he napped. I mean that's fine too. It's just that I can guarantee me, Elite, Fausto, Yuland, Glenn, probably Peachy. That's six people. I don't know about Brooke. I don't know about Emery. Bisha will not be there. I don't know about Otis. We'll see. I mean, oh, yeah, I'm sure today. we'll manage. For what? For what's in the box? Yeah, today's what's in the box. And uh, we stayed up playing freaking played up. I'm going to go psychotic. I only woke up two hours later than I usually do. I actually woke up early, which sucked. I woke up early and I couldn't fall back asleep because um, everybody and their mother decided they brought three dogs today. Three dogs. Spite them. Hurt them Apparently, in other ways. a total 88 hours were spent in Baldur's Gate character creation. Jesus Christ. But it's PvP day. I mean, we could do PvP after what's in the box. If I don't die, you know, yeah. and pass out. It won't be that bad. PvP day for what? For, for Final Fantasy? It's a uh, C's, I think. Question mark. It's what? For what game? Frontline. Oh, okay. We fought Owlbear that had a cub. And I was nice enough to kill the cub first, so it didn't have to see its parent die. So you traumatize the parent with a more painful experience of having to watch their child die. Mercy killing, you know, it's just, it's, it's the... I, I have reason to believe that it's more painful for a parent to watch your child die than a child watch their parent die. <laughs> it was already grown up, it can deal. Persistent bugger. Very well, let's have a look at you. You've seen your share of battles, there's no mistaking that, and you did manage to obtain that anime and twist egg. However, that was not more than a display of brute force and blind courage. The nun I once fought also believed that his strength would save him. He was wrong, and now I'm a nun. Oh, and now I am nun. Okay. Many years ago, I joined a company of heroes to hone my skills instead of challenging the predecessor before I was ready. Even when I was young, I understood that victory goes to the patient, the cunning, the pragmatic. That is why I claimed my position, and it is why I still hold it, and it is why I will not help an unproven whelp. The children of the sands do not offer aid to, to strangers. To do so is a sign of weakness. However, if you were recognized as a skilled hunter in your own right, it would be permissi permissible to assist you. Across the desert, to the east lies an Amjala, Amalja encampment. There dwells a warrior renowned, both for his strength and his gil. Go gil? Goil? To even face this Am Amalja in battle, you must first find a way to lure him away from the encampment. Em encampment. This will be your first. This will be your test to draw out and defeat the, the veteran. For this, I will offer you no advice, only this worn spear. Why you ask? You have to solve this that riddle yourself. Now go. Play this old warrior and bring me his necklace. I am on quest level 31. I was Oath of Nature Paladin, so I couldn't. I didn't kill the owl bear. That's why when you see player character with none, point and laugh at them because they play Final Fantasy, they don't get me. 
We almost didn't, but before we could get out, when we made nice with it, it attacked us. I'm going to go through the most chaotic route I can when I play Baldur's Gate and make sure I kill everything. I will be a warlock. But I'll be a warlock of chaos. <laughs> the amalgamation. The other guy's a half elf thief. I'd either be a wizard or a, uh, or, I don't know, probably a wizard. I did the instance where you fight the guy, um, who, you have to fight the boulder. Uh-huh. And he puts paralysis on me and I just cleanse it instantly. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this must suck being like any other class who doesn't have a Suna. True. What's a view count dandy? What's up the raccoon president? Oh my god, my president. Uh, a, a view count Andy is someone who talks about the view count. That is literally all it is. It's like when someone raids a streamer and all of a sudden they have 200 viewers and someone's like, Oh my god, you're at 200 viewers! Or when like someone gets raided with 200 viewers and they have 200 viewers but then it like lowers a little bit. And all of a sudden they're at like 80 or something because, you know, not everyone stays around for, for a raid. And all of a sudden the person's like, oh man, you went from 200 to 80. That sucks. Lol. It, um, it doesn't quite overwhelm me any number. I don't really care. However, it's still better if I don't have to think about it. And a lot of streamers are the same way. They don't want to know their view count numbers. It's just like an unwarranted, unneeded stress. So. Is that my head of state? Yeah, this is my head of state, the raccoon president. Their name is, uh... What, what's your name? President? Obviously, don't give me your real name. <clears throat> don't talk, don't dox yourself. Tell me, adventurer, is our old nemesis dead? Here's the necklace. This is a fine necklace, as it benefits a veteran of countless battles. It will make an excellent trophy. The spear? It belonged to one of his brothers. I knew when he spied it from afar. He would be unable to res resist, venturing outside the encampment to see, it, see for himself. Did you discern my intent? Or was it dumb luck, I wonder? Roy the raccoon? Perfect! This is President Roy of the Raccoon City Presidency of Raccoons. Raccoon President. I'm getting awkward. I, uh. Add that to my. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. No one clicks these tags, I don't think. Well, I guess maybe some do, but... Anyways. Uh, my tags are perfect. Feet. I have raccoon, anime, VTuber, no backseating, English, black mage, DPS, POV, tired, sleepy, and awkward. Perfect. What'd you say? <laughs> that was like, you still have feet there? You don't. No, we don't have feet. Miku, huh? Lev has feet tag. No one clicked, clicked on that tag anyway. And I felt like tired and sleepy was more fitting. Then I'm not false advertising. Either way, you impress me, adventurer. I shall tell you of the ingredient you seek. Epic, awesome, and poggers. I already have this. So you're wasting my freaking time with loot. A shame we did not meet when I was still in the company of heroes. You would have made a fine recruit. But no point dwelling on what cannot be. You have a Wellwick worm to hunt. Tan worms slither brazenly across the desert runes, but Wellwick worms are far fewer in number. 
Rarity breeds demand that their meat is highly prized as a delicacy. The only way to catch your quarry is to entice it with something it cannot resist. These worms prey on a smaller creature of the Sagoli. A freshly slaughtered angler carcass would be my choice of bait. There's an area teeming with anglers to the east. I will mark it upon your map, along the location where Wellwick worms are most frequently sighted. Be warned, the blood will drive the worm into a feeding frenzy. If your skills are lacking, it will devour you as well. Devour? That's a blue mage spell. That's a blue mage spell. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any of the tags anymore. I don't have feet or anything. The error is over. Soon all the emotes will be gone too. And we'll begin anew. Overnight so it will all change. Be thighs? No, it's too normy. It has to be something like stupid. Knees, I don't know. Knees? Armpits? No. Armpit is also really Armpit is what? It's also pretty normy. You think so? I do think so. I think like armpit is more frequent than feet. Frequent. I feel like the opposite. Mm, I don't know about that. Armpits is next level degenerate past feet. I agree. But it just feels just as normy. The meme. I haven't been to the Forgotten Springs. I'm going to Krill. I have to think of something that's just like stupid. But stupider than feet. But not like not cringe. Spit. Spit. No, because that's that's an actual like normalized <laughs> kink at this point. It's just real. Do you think so? Yeah, I do think so. How many people have you met? With a spit fetish? Yeah. I feel like every straight person, probably. Anyone that's ever told me stories about how they had the wildest time last night, they're like, oh, you know, they, they, they spit straight people. <laughs> I just slurred in the name of, of Gabby. So sorry. I need to have to cast shit. How do they want me to get down here? Just, these people are level 45. What the fuck? Their people are pretty disgusting in general. <laughs> I would agree, but you know, two you girls, one cup has. The Manderville quest line. I'm again. not doing that. Trust. I'm literally just really? doing the MSQ at this point and Thaumaturge questline. Are you sure? are you so excited to do Baj all over again? Yes. <laughs> Good luck with that. Maybe if I switch this character to to pancakes, then I'll debate it. But this is cinnamon roll. What's party finder look like? Uh, here you can't tell, unless you like transfer it Locked. over. Locked. Oh god. You can't see any of the. Because you have to have this stuff unlocked to see the PF. <laughs> Where's Pancakes? Probably dead. Probably dead. You look well. Have you caught your quarry then? Your skills as a hunter rival those of, the, of our best. I applaud your success, Senna. The meat will need to be heavily smoked before I ship it to Wastegate. Worry not, you will ha you will have you have my word. He will receive it in time for the banquet. You must be eager to obtain the third ingredient. I regret to say that I know not of this of its location. For the nonce, you should return to Costa de Sol and seek Whiskate's counsel. Oh hi, are you at the same quest? Yeah. Oh nice. Probably. Ah, uh, but hold a moment, as you will be meeting the captain again soon. There's something I would like to deliver. I would like you to deliver to inform me. Page. Might have to go. The captain was always fond of the beer. Brand, brand wine. Brand wine. Brand wine. Brand brand wine. Brand wine. I'd be grateful if you could deliver it on my behalf. I was reckless, angry youth when I first joined the company, and he would 
have been well within his right to cast me out. Everything I have, I owe to his wisdom and generosity. I, Wiskade, was a firm yet fair teacher, an expert molder of men. I suspect that is still the case now. Please give him my regards, Senna. Listen. Pankex is freaking gone. You want pancakes back? I don't even know the price of a Fantasia, thankfully. Probably like seven bucks, ten dollars. I'll sell out to Fantasia to pancakes, but otherwise it's cinnamon roll. Well met, Cinna. Landonel and Uadhunun. Both spoke highly of you. What brings you here today? What do you mean, what brings me here today? Take this. But this is on Aether. That is also true. And very dies of cringe. I agree. Ah, my favorite. I shall have to thank the nun. Personally. Now, you have but one ingredient left. Fortunately, you will not have to travel to Aldenard this time to obtain it. Oh, Cage. Truth be told, I never intended for you to collect this last ingredient. Brayflox, my old quartermaster, wished to bring it to Costa the oh, Soul herself. Yep. Here we freaking go. That name, dude, is way too close from where is the cat. True. Now I'm going to call him Where's the Cat. Ways. We is Kate. Ways Kate. I don't even know what to call him, bro. However, not long ago, she sent word that there's been some trouble at the long stop. <sighs> that the delivery would be delayed indefinitely. She told me nothing of the incident her itself, but I fear the situation may be dire. Though I would like nothing more than to aid her myself, I have no choice but to turn you, turn to you and your allies. Make haste to the Hidden Falls dock, Hidden Falls docks, and speak with Ozun Ozun Nazun. He will directly he will direct you to Raincatcher Gully, where Brayflox and her people. I've made their home. Honestly, Brayflox's long stop is like one of the more tolerable dungeons in this, in the early Do stuff. Whiskat. I really think I'm starting to develop dyslexia. Can you, can you develop dyslexia like later in the, later in life? Mm, no, Cause I know schizophrenia is more like early life but it could get worse so you could have it in like early life but not know and it just smacks you in the face gobby <laughs> boom debuff. the stacking debuff but i wonder how dyslexia works like can it worsen in time can it can you have it and not know and then all of a sudden bam one day what's the hurry venture eh Something happened over at Gobby Settlement. I don't know why you're so eager to help a bunch of beastmen, but go and talk to the skipper over yonder. She'll ferry you to bring Catcher Gully. Thanks. Yes, I'm coming along. Send me over. I have to pay 40 gil? What happens if you have Alzheimer's, but you forget you have it? I would hope that you have people that can take care of you. Does it go away? Hmm. Let's what go away. You know, what if it does though? What if that's the meta? What if the meta to any illness is just ignoring it? <laughs> I think it just goes away. Are you serious? Cancer would like to have a word. Precisely. Day two of trying this tower. Let's go. What tower? Tongue flaps of voice cat be reaching ears of brave flocks. Uplander is come for tasty fresh goby treats, yes? Quest prize of Uplander deep in long stop. Bloody beast chased gobby flock from homes. Gobby flock needs goodly goodly Uplander to give safety from long stop with much hand lending. Duh. Why do I feel like they sound like Jar Jar Binks? Me 
Misa Brayflox. Misa need help from Uplander. I'm gonna show these amateurs off right now. Let me know when you're ready for the the dungeon. Dung, dung, oh my god, I just invited Gabby. Gabby. I don't remember where this even starts. Or what start? Ah, that's right. You actually have to talk to someone for it, right? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do the uh the course and fail miserably, but I want to show them off. What if a sprout just dominates? That'd be pretty funny. Maybe the suit will help me. I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. They let a dog in, but the dog has fur, and I already know that I'm suffering because of it. Like it it hit instantaneously. BGM, zero. Spotify? I think I took the easier route. Wait, that's it? Oh no. Cock. Damn it. I was like, that was too easy. Where's the real course? And I forgot the initial jump is like one of the worst things in the game. <laughs> God damn it! Bro. What? Will you register the jumps properly? What is happening? Bro. That shouldn't have landed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm at the first part all over again. What?
Bro. I'm oh my god, I'm overshooting it. Dude. Some days it just pops off or some moments and then other moments just like lol. Oh my god. Jump. I'm struggling with the first portion, bro. Was this the only Kuduro music that popped off internationally? I think so. Was this in like Fast and Furious as well? It was. This is like the last Fast and Furious I watched. I'm pretty sure. It's the one with like... The vault or something. They 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 thought they failed the the heist, but then they succeed at the end. This is a good vibe song, honestly. Get ratioed, bunny boy. Oh my god! Come on! Yeah, this one was really popular. This song was really, really popular. I don't think it's because of Fast and Furious, but I, but I know it was popular. This is like the rise of... I, I don't want to say the rise, I guess, but it was one of the bigger songs that got uh, Spanish music into like the radio at least here I think so I don't I don't really know I'm assuming so because I don't think I heard any songs except for like gasolina up until this song uh it's not Spanish oh what language is this Portuguese <laughs> I'm so sorry Oh god. It's so Jover. Oh my god, it's there. Around the corner? Or is it there? <sighs> my god.
This this I know is from Brazil. This one I know is from Brazil because uh, my Brazilian friend screamed when they heard this song. They're like, how do you know this song? I'm like, I know this from Mario Tennis, bro. Or like, not Mario Tennis, but like, I don't know what it was called. One of the, like, Nintendo tennis games. This is a theme for the, um, the one, the one monkey game from Nintendo. Not, not Donkey Kong, but like, the other one. I don't know what it's called, so. It wasn't Wii Sports. I don't remember what game it was. This song was a banger, though. It's like, how am I over jumping when I mildly, mildly tap? Mildly tap. This song is a, good, uh, a banger, though. I like this song. Are you ready for Brave Flock's long stop? Arsh now? The things we do for cheese. I have to get to the actual area. Huh? What'd you say? I have to get to the actual area. You can queue it now, though. Uh, it won't let me until you unlock it. I did. Oh. Have, have you ever done this, like, parkour course to the end? Yes. Isn't it just awful? Mmm, it was okay. No, yeah, I agree. It's terrible. Yeah, I know. I, I hated it. I hated it, too. This one was in FIFA? I could see that. I'm gonna go unlock my, uh, treasure map actions. Treasure map. Bruv. You know, if you story skip, you don't get all of that stuff, huh? You still have to, like, unlock half of it. Uh... Yeah, you still have to go back and unlock it. Same with your sightseeing log and stuff. Yeah. For all expansions right. you are a uh, realm reborn, heavens ward, storm blood, shadow bringers, and walker. Kill me. Oh god, end my misery. I was in proxy stream er, last night while we were playing played up, and uh, he has every single retainer. I was like, bro. What do you mean every single retainer? Like, oh, like they bought every single retainer they could? Yeah, because you can have seven, and then you can get the eighth one if you get the, the companion app. And I was like, I... I don't know about that one. Three of us have the same hat on right now. It the thing is broken again. I'm sick of this. Oh my god. What even happened? They just died.
Maybe my five key just chooses not to work half the time. Out of the first pull. Unfort. There's just no mint and they had like 16 things on them. They just died and I was like, okay, well, I can't cast fast enough for that. Are they like under geared? They uh, take a lot not of level damage six, so probably. I think well they might be on level with the it's not. Oh my god, I can't use... Bruh. Help! <laughs> they won't do anything. I have food for EXP. I sure do. It's a. It's for gathering. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a paralysis potion on one of these things. Damn, skip strats. Too high. <laughs> okay, damn. I see him. Shit. They just skipped like a, a pull portion that I never thought is. I mean, like, I knew it was skippable, but I just don't see anyone do that. I was surprised. not too bad I need that gear doink I don't need that gear pass like they could have given me the most insane gear but instead they gave me that The Erd Tree. Actively waiting for the Elden Ring DLC. It gets delayed. I mean, honestly, that wouldn't surprise me. But FromSoft tends to not. 
I feel like delay things as often. Was Elden Ring itself delayed? I don't remember. Um, uh, I want to say no, but no idea. I feel like no. Is it next year? I don't even know when the... I, I didn't know it was confirmed a day yet. I thought they were just like, it is announced, but we don't have a date for yeah, you Yeah, they, they announced it's in development, and that was pretty much it. <sighs> That's better than most things these days. I'll take what I can. I mean, it makes sense. They gotta ship out a uh, fire Rubicon as well. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. That is out this month. That is hype. Dude, stop. I'm casting here, man. This guy's pissing me off. Help. Bro, it's like they could give us the most insane stuff for a caster, but they don't. But they don't. like I know transpose exists but I keep forgetting it exists it's funny because now in like on the main character on Azusa I use transpose a lot more and I thought I didn't think it was as reliable as it is especially like during phases where I have to move Map completion. Oh my god. True. Mark of the Dragon. Do 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 do. Tell if I was in the range or not. These are excessively large, and for what?
I used my AoE by accident. Whatever. Damage is damage, I guess. Like, bro didn't have to do that, but he still. How much is the dot I mean... for under two? Fifty, and this is thirty. Wait, so why wouldn't I just use thunder too? What are you using? Because I have thunder, and it's like single target. But oh, you know what? It might be the percentage of. Got two commendations. Yo, I'm a I'm a black mage, so I get none. Yo. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna see if Gabby's still doing 80 dungeons. Trying to fall behind. We are on the same place. I'm gonna start falling behind. I'm gonna start steamrolling. The lobby server connection has accounted an error. Damn. Do, 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 <laughs> I'm like, I'm on my way, game crashed. Don't, don't. Elden Ring would be nice. Be a nice, like, thing to have. Going right now. I'd play some more, but I've already done the story where I guess I played through Elden Ring twice now, so I'm like, eh. Shkoh. Goodly Uplander has the thanks of Gobby Flock. Bloody Beast was tricksy foe, but Uplander outwitted with planes making. Uplander had. Has goodly head for fighty think. <clears throat> Rayflox happy gives tasty fresh gobby treats to clever Uplander. Thank you so much. Cheese is stinky sweet gobby treat. Special make with secret gobby arts. No party complete without gobby gouda. <laughs> Brayflox ever ever say. <laughs> Copy Gouda, bro. Being a Gouda, I, I just took a sip of Wuda. Sip of Uda. Gobby Boom. Gobby Kush Bloom. Goodbye, Gobby. Goodbye, Brave Locks. All, to all talks. I go work now. Enjoy your work day. Have a fast work day. Have a very fast work day. Have enjoy work. I hope work goes easy. I hope work is a good day. I hope you have a good work day. I hope it's fast. Anything else I missed? Good luck, Remus. I hope you survive. Thank you for hanging out. I gather you solve Brave Flox's little problem. Yeah, here's some Gouda cheese. Goblin cheese. What do they mean by this? By God, that unholy stench. This is ugh, definitely goblin cheese. Judging from the smell, this should be quite flavorful. Flavorful. Hmm? How's it made? Ah, uh, it's best you remain ignorant of such things. I still remembered when I learned what kind of milk they use. Uh, 
Anyways. <gasps> Finally! Maimon Mend. Yo! Color Coral Fluff. Thank you for the follow. Col color? Bravo Senna, thanks to you, our guests shall be honored with a marvelous banquet. But what good is an exotic feast without an equally exquisite ap aperifit? Aper aperifit? Aperifit? Luckily, I know just the person to ask. Make your way to Wineport and seek out Shimani Lo Lomani. Another former member of the company. All you have to do is give him or this order slip. I'll take care of the rest. Oh, and if you're wondering if this is merely a ploy to test your patience, I assure you, I do actually need that wine. Wine. And while you you're here, while... and while you're there, give Shimani Lomani my regards. Thank you so much. I've been working so hard, and you're gonna send me to do more. Thank you. What's up, Cor Coral Fluff? What's poppin'? Like your remote. Pride Lion Hay. Very cool. Very cool. Sh Shimani Lamani. Sweat, grime, and blood. Ah, you reek of blood. An adventurer, unless I am mistaken. What brings you to Wineport? Whoop. An order? Let me guess. A request for the finest vintage I can muster. Sniff, sniff, he does. I can't do that because my nose is suffering. As a matter of fact, let me blow my nose real quick. Two seconds. Good idea, huh? I feel as though now would be the grandest of time to just, like, inhale the spiciest of fumes. Or just consume something so spicy that, you know, my nose explodes. That would be cool, too. It's the ones they were giving out for cheering during uh, Pride a few years ago. I like I do not have that one. Called Pride Lion. I don't have that one, but I have Pride Lion Yay. Damn it. I guess I didn't get all of them. The paper smells of loam and perfume. Costa del Sol. And there is also the... <coughs> unmistakable odor of goblin cheese. We should move on. We should move past the goblin cheese, please. Yes, Master Gegaru Gegaruju would not settle for anything less than the best. Durst waits. And his crew... Must be quite busy preparing an exotic feast, hence his decision to rely on an adventurer. Ah, uh, but perhaps you are confused that this display of deduction was not intended to impress you. When one loses his vision, he is forced to compensate in other ways. But you've no interest in my affairs. You w wish only to discuss the wine, I suspect. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Thank you for making it, you know, easier on me to do that. Play some lo-fi in the background for myself. You have these three. Lion, Pride. Pride, Lion. I only have Ye. Sag. But I have every other Pride one. I just missed the, the Lion portion. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Life can be so delightfully unpredictable. I always had a passion for wine, but it wasn't until I was forced to retire that I could pursue it as more than a mere hobby. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been possible if not for the savings I amassed during my time as a mercenary, of course. Say what you will about the nature of that work, none can deny that it pays well. Ah, but you grow impatient. And where is the cat? <laughs> Must have his, have his wine. Herein lies the problem. Nothing in my possession is of sufficient quality for this occasion. The best vintages in town are, are hoarded by Burglaint who owns and operates the largest winery in Vil Vilbrand. Somehow I doubt he will be receptive of your request. But given these circumstances, we must need needs beg his assistance. What if I killed him? Then he has no choice but to give me the wine. Hello. What rank amateur bottled this wine? The impurities have rendered it nigh undrinkable. This missile is too good for the man responsible. 
He should he should be made to drink every last last drop of his polluted swill. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important discussion, and I do not care for interruptions. Hmm? That neophyte Vintner bid you to speak with me? Ha! Neither you nor your friend has the palate to appreciate the subtle, subtle t qualities of my private stock. I would sooner serve you goobu urine than sell you my worst vintage. Be gone from my sight. I think killing was the appropriate action. What do you think, Shamani Lomani? What if we eliminated him? I take it he said no, really, in those words? Hmm. Well, I cannot say I am surprised. While there's no denying his passion and skill, the wine baron of Limsa Laminza is not a man known for his tact. Very well. We shall have to take an alternative a t alternative approach. There's a chance, however small, that another resident of Wineport can furnish us a suitable wine. In fact, had you come several years ago, I guarantee this would not be a problem. Alas, the quality of product has declined significantly in recent years. The only breeds cultivated these days are common lowland vines. Which isn't to say that the, their grapes are of poor quality, only they have been have known better. Long ago, the Vinerons, Vinerons of Wineport crossbred several species and produced a grape-bearing vine of never-before-seen quality. Bacchus grapes. Or batches. Were once the pride of this town, as they were used to produce vintages which surpassed all others. This includes the most ar ar aromatic... Bro. This includes the most aroma... Aromatic? Aromatic? Aromatic. Aromatic. Oh, okay. Airplane-matic. Aromatic. The most complex, the, mo and the most flavorful of all wines. I, the legendary Bacchus vi wine. Wines were born right here in wine porn. I mean, I would assume so, because it's called wine porn. It kind of makes sense. Um, part of my enthusiasm, you see, I once had the privilege to sample that particular wine. It was an otherworldly experience in that moment. I felt as though I had tasted the nectar of the gods themselves. I transcended my mortal flesh and was once it was one with all creation. But as is all too often said, the calamity changed that. The Bacchus vine vineyards were com completely destroyed, along with much of the existing stock of Bacchus wine. What little remains is closely guarded by its owners, for it can no longer be made. If we cannot convince Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Do you think it's gonna be the same and then map? People try to fight you or throw you off a cliff, which is like okay. At that rate, they should just rework all of PvP and just make. I mean, is that really anything. PvP if you're just like going to cliff people? Because if you notice with the newer maps, they have like basically no pitfalls like that anymore. It's more to displace rather maps? than to kill you. Well, I mean the reworked one. Oh, you're talking about Shatter? I mean, there's still a bunch of pitfalls. But they don't kill you. No. I like, guess they not. only kill you if you're low health. But, like, they're not going to kill you, like, instantly. You know what I mean? Um. And that was I the guess. only map that you could die in one shot from falling because someone would pull you or kick you off. I still feel like Shatter's my least favorite. It's okay. I don't like the rework. I, I preferred it when it was like a larger map. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I prefer the larger maps. I like, like the new one because of the zones it puts you in. Because then it'll be like, Maybe, oh, this team has easy access to like get in and get out. <laughs> but if you're the other too, team, you okay. fall into. I mean, he said that the other map is mid. I like that one. Fine. We all like prefer our own maps, right? I mean, Uwu is objectively the best map. I feel like anyone that disagrees is just wrong. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just kind of like... it, the, the way they make you, like, commit to a uh, crystal. I'm stupid day is the best day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my two favorite maps are Uwu and the one for today. That I already forgot the name of. Bad or whatever. Not Shatter. Shatter's a dog shit one. Seas. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. The, it's the ram win. that one team has, which is good. Then there's like the midway point where you could just walk in from mid. And then you could fall down and stand on like these uh, little cliffs and stuff. What intro song? But you have to get close to commit to the crystal that you gotta break. And so it's kind of like, it presents a really like interesting opportunity of like, yeah, you can commit to this, but like you have to really fight your way out of it. And I don't think a lot of maps really do that. The only reason that I think Shatter is remotely kind of okay is because your team can't leave you for dead this time around. And it's such a big problem in Seas is like people do not commit to a fight. And like they run in and start doing a fight. You would think that. There's no way. Do they I mean I guess it's still that way, yeah, but much less so because there's less space to run away. I think, personally. Like, you'll get cornered very easily if you try to run. That's such a big problem with C's. Is like, when I played Gunbreaker, I would go into the fight. And people would follow. And then two seconds later, everyone would be gone. And I'd be solo and I would die. And I'm like, this is cowardice. And we deserve to lose for this. That's why I play Black Mage now, so that I can just watch as everyone runs away, and uh, I cringe at them from a distance. <laughs> that one Black Mage on the enemy team that was just sitting in the back line, like one guy would die and he would run all the way back to base. He probably had to deal with what I had to deal with, where I was like, no, popping dude, off. No, he would like start casting, he'd see like one guy get caught, and he'd immediately just start running the other way. Because the, the rest of their team was going to do the, t the same he's thing. He's not even though. in the front line. He's in the back line. He's As fine. As a tank, I can confirm like some, some teams are very, very cowardly. It's very ridiculous, yeah. It's because dying has consequence. You lose points. And if you're doing too good, dying has an even harder consequence. But it's really, like, it's really, really cringy when you have your entire, like, team... Not your entire alliance mm -hmm. of team, you have but your like your team. Uncoordinated team. What? You know your what else has consequence? Team. Not killing the other team. When there's four enemy like teammates, and you go and you know that you'll kill them fast enough before like they get reinforcements, but the entirety of your team decides, mm -hmm. nah, let's just leave, and then you die because it's you and like one other person. And then the enemy team shows up. Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of how other people are. Not well, everyone has the same level suck, of commitment you And do. they should just go and play Crystalline Conflict instead. IMHO. They suck. 
It's just how I be. Well, it shouldn't be this way. Man up, damn it. Man up. How? I mean, they have to learn. Well, the problem is I don't know if they'll learn if they just keep running away. Yeah. And also, not everyone's of the same mindset, so they probably won't like, want to learn. They should give Hanks rescue so they could pull like the entire team to them. That'd be pretty funny. That would be stupid, but that'd be funny. I'm curious how the other, the caster and the melee are going to work in PvP, the new ones. Call it backpack? True. Uh, I vote Corsair has anti-healing of some sort. That'd be interesting. I could see it. And then the other one would just be like AoE damage. Because I mean, like, what are the other casters going to do? It's True. just all AoE damage. <laughs> Fuck. Ew. <laughs> Corsair, dual wielding scimitars, augers. They'll probably give him like a. A revolver. <laughs> or not a revolver. A, uh, a flintlock. That'd be cool. Melee. Dual wielding butt plugs. I mean, it could be a melee with like one range and it'll be like. They pull out a flintlock. That'd be cool. kind of cool. No, it'd be like ninja scouting. I mean, it could be scouting. You don't think it'll be scouting? It is scouting. What? Then what are you saying? I said it's going to be a, it's a melee, but it's scouting. It's going to be like ninja. Yeah. So they're not going to like main hand a pistol. It's going to be like an ability. I mean, it would still be cool if they had a flintlock that he just pulled out. Uh, I don't think it'll be an offhand. I think they'll literally just have it as an ability. I'm going to main your pistol. Damn. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be cringe if it's like you toss a bomb or something. No, it's not like that. It's melee. But, yeah, but It'll be every like melee you has at your a enemy or something. Every melee has a at least one range thing. Like, Samurai has the <laughs> slice the ground fire. Ninja has, like, the shuriken they throw. Ninja has, like, seven. Well, then, right on and shit. I guess, I guess Corsair's gonna have seven as well. Scouting job, easy. Gonna have one. Probably gonna have seven. It's gonna have, like, a bomb toss. It's gonna have five flintlocks it shoots. It's gonna have, like, uh, a bleed. No, it's a scouting job. You said it too. Yeah. That's why they're going to get the Gundam mecha. Dude, if Corsair gets a mecha and it's not like proper pirate, I'm not going to play that. That's going to be the stupidest class. I'll be dumb. I am HO. You don't get it. They're going to summon the Morble. I hope Pictomancer does. Nah. Just like draw things to life. That'd be cool. It'd be like be really zone. shitty sketches on the floor. Like <laughs> that'd be pretty sick too. Then it's a meme job, and I'll play even more. Yeah, doodle bob ass. Hell yeah. We get like chalk zone quality creations. No, chalk zone's actually peak. It would be like, uh, what is it called? Identity. Identity's peak. What? No. Was peak. It's no longer in cycle. Sad cat. Neither is Chalk Zone. Yeah, but like Chalk Zone still has legacy. Okay, Faust is trolling. <laughs> but I could tell that since the moment he said he liked Shatter. Do you think so? Yeah. No, Shatter's cool. No, it's not. That's cope. <laughs> It's literally, I like, sit by a node, and I just cut it down. Ew. I will go into their backline when we're fighting, like, a big crystal, and they just don't, they can't walk up. Like, they just can't. And then I kill node. And it's only aggroed on me. Okay, I have dialogue to read. I don't need more trolling. Back is wine, question mark? 
Bah, don't remind me. You used to have a cellar filled with the stuff. I thought I could keep the wine safe from thieves and the elements. Never counted on a bloody primal blowing up my god's damned house. Now it's raining. It'll be like higher quality wine. In like 50 years when the, when the grapes are ready for it. And the wine is ready for it. What? Do I have Bacchus wine? I wish. Never had a chance to try it myself. Sorry, friend. But you're a few years too late. No one, just no one stores shit, I guess. So they had one job. They couldn't even do that. Or some wine. Wine, wine ages very fine. Do I have wine port as a teleport? Yes. I don't remember being here. I do remember being here. Never mind. Coast is a soul. No luck, hmm? Most, regret most regre regrettable. We have to try. Ah, Bacchus wine would have been the perfect. Would, be, would have been perfect for the occasion. Though I must confess, my certitude could be due in part to my personal history with the beverage. It is, after all, the very reason I decided to become a vintner. The Titan blinded me in our battle beneath Ogomoro. I fell into a deep depression. It wasn't until I tasted back his wine for the first time that I realized there was still so much I could experience, even in my condition. It helped me to find a new direction in life. Breaks my heart to think that wondrous embryo Ambrosia, which once filled me with hope, may be forever lost to us. What is bro talking about? It was an alcoholic for real. He found hope in alcohol. I must say, this talk of Bacchus wine has made has made me rather nostalgic. Indeed, there is much I miss about my life in the with the company of he company of heroes. After everything the company has done for me, I could not bear to disappoint him. I have no fear. I swear I shall find a suitable wine for the banquet. Though I may need some time to think of a solution. In the meantime, there's a favor I would ask of you. A few years ago, in the deepest depths of my despair, I stumbled across Vilbrand as a vagabond drunk. I suspect I was looking for a place to die because I was nearly... I was very nearly found one not far from here. It was there that a man named Drest took me in and nursed me back to health. And it was he who gave me my first taste of Bacchus wine, which helped me to find my new calling. Though I am still a novice in the arts of winemaking, I would like him I would like him to know that I am pursuing my dream. This wine is my original creation, and I would be most grateful if you delivered it to him in my stead. Drest sometimes works as the rain catcher at the Raincatcher Goalie Docks, who perhaps can tell you where to find him. Bro. They, tru they truly be choosing names for, for people to try to pronounce. You just can't do it. Do 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 Hello, Ritzkilt. Dressed? Oh you mean the hermit? Aye. I tossed him a few gill when we need an extra pair when we need an extra pair of hands. He does not talk about himself, but I and I sure as hell don't ask. When a man got a face with scars like that, you best leave well enough alone, I say. If you have a mind to find him, though. Then head southwest to the severed string. Okay, thanks. Dung midge swarm. What do they mean by this? Oh gods. Wow, this like whole portion of the quest is super lar long. 
This is all the way to level 40. I mean, we're already level 40, but the quests themselves drag on for a while. What? What do you want? Wine? I didn't ask for this. Who sent you? All right, dressed. Come on, man. Can't sleep. They won't let me sleep. The midges, the bussing. The buzzing? The buzzing. Keeps me awake. I'm not. Never wanted to hurt anyone. I won't fight. I don't want to fight. Please, make the buzzing stop. Make the midges go away. Okay. You're not. I can do that. I don't remember this portion of the quest line at all. Your name is Bloody Mary. It's an Apkalu. That's my, my, like, one of my mares, mares? rarest minions. What did I unlock at level 40? Increase base action damage and add HP restoration by 30%. Okay. It's like none of them spawn here, man. I might lose aggro, it might be too far. It did not, in fact, lose aggro. Not so loud anymore. Did did you do that? Thank you. You helped. You helped me. Even after what my comrades and I did to your country. Huh? We were on a reconnaissance mission when the maelstrom caught us by surprise. We tried to escape, but the others, no. No one else survived. I didn't ask for this, damn it. I'm not even Garlean. They conquered my lands just like they tried to conquer yours. Oh, I see. I don't want to die in some blasted jungle halfway around the world. I just want to go home. Well, then go to Little Alamigo, bro. Bro, the new South Park game is going to be in 3D and online. Ew. I didn't play any of the South Park games, I won't lie. Like, none of them hit for me. I know people really like Stick of Truth or whatever. None of them... None of them clicked. 3D and online. Now I'm scared. Snow Day? The most magical of days in a young child's life. Yes! Yes! There's no kid! It's a snow day! Hey! Hey, new kid! Day, 
Oh, God. I don't know, man. The South Park games just don't click. Three D and online, bro. Co-op multiplayer. I wish to thank Shimani for the wine. That was overly kind. Would you be willing to bear a gift back to him? Earlier today at Red, Mant Red Mantis Falls, I collected the sap from nearby palm trees. If placed in coconut shells and stored for a few bells time, it makes for a fine wine. See? Should be ready by now. I left three shells out there. Please, take them to Shimani for me. I'm glad he's moved on with his life. I hope to one day do the same. A hey, weirdo. What alcoholism does to a person, I guess. I guess. I guess he has PTSD flashbacks of war. Maybe it makes sense. Kind of like... Kind of like a coping mechanism at this point. They're on the other side? Oh, over here. Didn't find out. I was like, where would they be even? What's up, Ender? What is poppin', Ender McFrando? Your talk of pancakes yesterday got me very close to the, the temptation of fantasying my character, my main character, back into pancakes. It didn't happen because I would need to pay for the name change and for the Fantasia. But it was, it almost happened. Almost. Alas, I will not pay. Another dime. For now. Smile. You could pay for my Fantasia. Right, because uh, cause I could totally afford that. Bro. After all the spending in Vegas, I can't afford shit. The credit card debt, it only rises. At least I'm using my credit card though, right? It has been some time, Senna. What news do you have addressed? It hasn't been that long. Ah yes, I recall he did have some knowledge of winemaking. A simplistic but nevertheless effective method that utilizes the natural properties of palm sap. I shall have to enjoy this batch before it spoils. We're not so different dressed than I. Two men who have long struggled not to let our scars define us. I worry that he has been alone with his thoughts for far too long. Aye, it is past time I paid him a visit. Thank you for looking after him, Senna. No worries. <gasps> Gubu sprouting! By the gods, Senna, listen. I know you're eager to wash your hands of this wine business, but I've just discovered something extraordinary about Dresta's pa palm wine. He sealed each coconut shell with a leaf. A leaf which, which has a very distinct shape and unusual order odor. I thought I was going mad at first. But now I'm certain these are the leaves of Bacchus grapevine. Of a Bacchus grapevine. Do you know what this means? Somewhere in Raincatcher Gully, the reg legendary vine still grows. If we could obtain a cutting, we could revive the Bacchus wine industry. We must know where just found these leaves. Here, take one of them back to him and see what he remembers. Oh god, he's going to be freaking dead. Now you're just hungry for pancakes? Yeah, I want to go back to Denny's and have some pancakes. Faust and I in Vegas, we went to get some Denny's pancakes. They were very tasty. Well, I got pancakes, I should say. Pain, pain cakes. Oh wait, no, Faust did too, Never mind. They were quite good. I feel like there are two things that are the most ideal breakfast for me. Either scrambled eggs or pancakes of any sort. Although I don't like overly sweet pancakes, so like fruit is enough to just add to it and some syrup. 
Oh, hello again. What is it? It's, it's just a leaf, isn't it? I only chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I found them near the juggernaut to the south, but I didn't see any grapevines. I saw fresh gobu tracks, though. Maybe maybe the leaves came from vines growing on the back of this one such beast. If you go looking for it, please be careful. Some gobus are more territorial than others, and you may have to defend yourself. Where are we at in the story? I think we're about to get to Titan. Like... We're a few quests away. I'm not entirely certain. I think Titan is like five quests or so away. So far, so good. I'm chilling. Damn, that was pointless, but okay. Yeah, because it's... It's Titan, and then we go to what, like... Then Garuda, but it's like several quests later, right? So... We're on the path to Garuda, basically. Titan is like the next two quests or something. I don't, I don't remember. It's on the way. We just hand in the wine. And it's easy clap. But the path to Garuda is going to take a while. Like, we have, I think, a dungeon or two beforehand. I think it's only one dungeon. Like... Stone Vigil, probably. You have salsa and chips? That's what I had yesterday. Well, no, I had spicy guac with uh, dipping chips. We get those, like, the scoops. The scoop chips. They're really good. Very tasty. Very luscious. What did Dress have to say, Senna? Tell me everything. Boom, boom, boom. I was right. This texture, this smell, this texture, I hold it, I hold in my hands. The back is grapevine cutting. Come now. Enough of this nonsense. I've heard talk of your discovery, and I refuse to believe that a common adventurer and novice vint vint vintner could beat him up. Twelve as, I, as my witness, it is a Bacchus grapevine. Wherever did you find this fantastic specimen? What? You would offer this to me? But why? There's none better position to reconstruct the Bacchus vineyards than you, Master Blum. You have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion to do so. It would be selfish of me to keep this cutting. I never knew you cared so deeply about your craft. Thank you, good sir. I will not squander this gift. In just a few years' time, I swear that every tavern across Eorzea will once again be clamoring for a cask of Wineport's legendary Bacchus wine. Sir, you needed. Wait, the shape of this bottle, the scent of this label, this couldn't possibly be. A 1547 Bacchus? But that's impossible. This vintage has not been seen since years before the calamity. It was gr the crown jewel of my personal collection for years. I debated opening it, wondering if today or tomorrow would be the ideal time. But now I re realize that it was never meant for me. It should be savored by the saviors of Wineport, I say. He has made us an offer we cannot refuse. Master Gagaruju. We'll never, we'll find no finer wine. Can we switch jobs? I'm, de I'm developing GPT. Are you really? Is that really what you do now? I'm making several versions of it. Sounds like you make the paper. EBH, honest with you.
Yeah, but I want you to buy the Fantasia. Brother. I, uh... I cannot buy no Fantasia. Not for myself, not for anyone else. Some days, I can't even order food. You have forever changed Wineport, Senna. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. Ah, uh, but do not permit me to delay you any longer. Pray deliver the wine to Captain Wastegate. I, I just thought about that. Well, it'll be several years later, right? Or a few years later, so never mind. Technically, it, I guess canonically, the storyline goes for 18 months or something. I don't know. Or I guess not canonically, but through... Um, through, through like, headcanon and stuff. You should, like, add a DoorDash gift card so you can order pizza to Throne. I do, I think I have one in there. It's a $15 one. But honestly, I would just order Subway or something. Just a, a chicken wrap. Hmm? Well, yes. I would very much like to drink it. But I'm a patient man. I have faith that one day I shall have another opportunity to taste perfection. I got you, Subway. You know, speaking of which... Speaking of which, you just reminded me. There are a few things that have not been redeemed on Throne yet. That, are, that were, like, gifted. I have to wait... an annoying amount of time. I mean, it is weird. The problem is, like, Ordinary Rock bought me Jet Black Die a while, that, uh, uh, a while back. And it still, to this day, has not... Not gone through. No, it was, it was Starbucks. That's what you got. You got a Starbucks gift card. You reminded me I can scan it into my phone. Sign in. Are you freaking serious? I don't remember my password. Technology is awesome. I'm getting an error for logging in. Does that make sense? Bro. Someone should develop that, not me. Oh my god. One of the keyboards I want is back in stock. What a shame. What a true and noble shame, really. Password reset failed. I literally put everything that they asked for and I filled in. Why did the password reset fail? How does this work? Now it's saved? Okay. I hate Starbucks, dude. I had their, like... Requirements and stuff. I'm not choosing a store. Just let me scan this.
Bro, how do you do this? Dude, technology is actually... I'll deal with it later. I want to play my video game. Too much... Too much effort there at the moment. No, do not. Do not use it hard for an 82, like... 82 gil B. Yeah, Throne is like, it's weird. They have Uber? <laughs> they have Uber gift cards? Damn, I should have gotten that for like... For Vegas. That's what I should have asked for. The Mao, dude. The Uber fees in Vegas were unreasonable. That would have been crazy. Your prolonged absence was beginning to concern me, so what of the wine I asked you to bring? Here it is. The finest. What is that? Seven Hells is a 1547 Bacchus. Even I know how rare that is. I have to admit, I didn't think it you had it in you, but congratulations, Senna. Thanks to you, this will be the most luxurious feast Costa de Sol has seen in years. It is Vegas. What's up? What's up, Juice of Sour? Considering the lengths you went to, I hope our guests appreciate it. Speaking of which, your associate arrived a short while ago. She appeared to be growing somewhat impatient. Perhaps you should tell her that the banquet is about to begin. Hi, Yishtoli. You have the look of a woman who has who, who has seen who has been to the seventh hell and back. Yeah. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a banquet held in her own honor. And this while the shadow of Titan looms all over all, all us. It beggars be belief. I can only applaud your sto sto stoicism. But I've been asked to endure such ignominy ignominy. I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. You're still like, you're hurting my brain a little bit. What are those names? It's Yishtola. Lady Yishtola, Lady Monroe. <laughs> that looks painful. A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, madam. Had I known, I would have never permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Come now. She must have sensed something was amiss. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of yours for a banquet, did you? Spare your mockery, captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. Unlike me, Senna has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you would be so good as to enlighten her. Aye, aye, fair, fair. Fair is fair. There's no hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be godslayers by their own criteria. If even one found her wanting, she would be rejected without a second thought. But if she proved herself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support her cause. The world has been, has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause. But all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Pine is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deigned to test Senna with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I'm sure, but tell us, Captain. What is the assessment of you and your fellows? He's a brave one. 
That much is certain. She's willing, willingly, she willingly walked in the midst of danger, despite my repeated warnings that it could cost her her life. Her skill is undeniable. She stalked her prey as relentlessly as any child of the sands, and struck with precision where an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Senna, however, is a kind and generous soul. I'm certain she has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at her side. Wily Uplander is talentful plans maker. Trixie foe for mighty rockman. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five of the Company of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, then a mineral, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. Let's go, cinnamon roll. Pop off. With the formalities away, let, let's let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends, for today we celebrate the birth of a new legend, Cinnamon Roll, Titan's Bane. Cinnamon Roll, Titan's Bane. What's up, Neko? Like, who's your favorite character in the game? Who is my favorite character in the game? Hmm. That is very difficult. Graha? Graha is not one of my favorite characters. I... I like Graha, but... He's not... He's, he's a cool character, he's just... He's not one of my favorites. I don't think really heavily about on that. I like Elidibus, I like Emmett Selk. Like, those two are my... Prime favorites, but those are both Asians. I like Vana. Um. No, oh, dude, we're in a realm reborn, man. True. As of right now, I'm going to say either Elidibus or Emmett Selk are my favorites. Elidibus is like prime favorite, but Emmett Selk is like the mood. Like if I had to relate to, to one character, easily Emmett Selk. Hithlodeus is awesome too. I really like Hithlodeus as well. Un unfortunately, a lot of my favorites are... Asians. I guess it's not an unfortunate thing. It's just like, you know. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. Okay. Out of the Scions, I like Alphano and Alice. Um. I don't know, that's about it. I don't have like any... Facing the exotic feast triggers a divine re uh, revelation. In that brief, transcendent moment, you glimpsed the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. A little bit especially, but a little bit in like... Later stuff. 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, and Walker. When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limza, Lamenza, Eorzea, or anything beyond his chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty Rockman with clever fighty think. Gobby Flock cannot be coming to rescue this time. Okay. Asena, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Tyen, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Landonel sends his regards. You are a veteran of countless battles, Senna, but this one is one but this this is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. You're blessed with a fortitude to rival the earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. You are kind to indulge them, indulge them, Senna. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come to, for the captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Indeed. You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, we will show you the way. Travel the Bronze Lake in Upper Lanasia. There you will meet with Riol. Another man who once served with the company. To ensure this, that this knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, he will remain in hiding until you have given him the correct have given the correct signal. Give me your map. You must whistle loudly at the three locations on mark. Only then will he appear to meet you at the fourth location. I realize this may seem excessive now, but you will see that it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risks. The risks inherent in our method. Okay. Yeah, Elidibus and Emmett Selk are huge favorites, especially with the, the raid in Endwalker. Really cool. Um, I like Yishtola, but not as much as everyone else seems to like Yishtola, if you know what I mean. Um, oh my god, worth a warrior, like, the warrior questline place. I mean, I like all of the Scions, but I wouldn't mind if they died. <laughs> like, I truly, if one of them died and just didn't come back in the story, I don't think it would bother me. I, I know in Endwalker, the way they did, like, Grahatia's, you know, was rough. A little rough. Um, yeah, I got a fast bike. I've had the fast bike since my first character. That character doesn't even exist anymore. That's how crazy it is. I don't mind Graha. He's cool. But, certainly, I prefer Elidibus, and I prefer Emmett Selk. I love Vana. Um... You really made me think, but my top three is probably just going to be Emmett Selk, a little bit, and I don't know, maybe Alice or Alpha No, one of those two. I don't know which one. <clears throat> Have you seen Lele's chat AI? I saw Oath Meals. Oath Meals has like a a penguin chat AI thing. I wonder how they get it. I wouldn't. I would not mind having one of those. They look pretty funny to have. Yeah, Oathmeal has like a, a penguin that responds to the to chat messages, but it's through channel points. 
But I wouldn't want a penguin. And I think you have to custom make it and like set it up so that it has gifts and stuff going for it. This is like the only time we get to whistle in this game. Imagine if instead of having beckon, we had whisper. Or not whisper, a whistle. That'd be cool. I haven't seen Lele's, but I have seen Oathmeals, and Oathmeals is straight up just a, a penguin that responds to chat messages, which is cool. Quite neat, quite dope. Running a clip. Nani Kore. Oh, I have to go up. Oh, just the stretch of a lifetime. Greetings, last. Might you be the one the captain said would uh, come calling? I thought so. Pay attention now. Because I ain't explaining myself twice. This is the quest, and then we fight Titan. Years ago, when we, we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across this Beastman Aetherite. See? What's that look for? Not familiar with him? He speaks of an amp unamplified aetherite, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there's no fundamental difference between such aetherites and those which you have used on countless occasions, Senna. Ah, well, if it ain't the Charlie and Lass. Welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting. I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. The tunnels be beneath... Ogamoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the company of heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery that I had long pondered. Give us a bit of credit, love. We weren't daft enough to try going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step, and the next thing you know, you've got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? The funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around. And it was that. It was that as got us thinking. I mean, Ugamaro mines are like a bleeding city, ain't they? And getting around in a city that big would be a right pain in the arse if you didn't have an Ethernet, wouldn't it? So it stood reason that the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm. Even if the Aetherite shards in the depths of Ogamoro... Even if there were Aetherite Aether shards in the depths of Ogamoro, you would have needed to attune yourselves to them before you could identify the sig their signatures within the livestream. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong. Love. We had this Charli Charlian bloke to help us, see? Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. I don't really know what he, how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlene scholar worth her salt could manage. How d did he now? Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites in question happened to be... Ah, yes. But in order to guide a traveler to said beacon safely, a second party would be required to... It is possible, in theory at least, yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend on, uh, upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are, lass. Do not worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Why don't we, go to, why don't we all go to Zelma's run and take a closer look at the Aetherite? It ain't far, though, sure, though there's sure to be a few kobolds blocking the way. Not you can't handle, mind. Futurama. 
Zzi I said, <laughs> why is how's your poke <laughs> chum? And so I send the from Futurama. Oh hey, Zzi I, you meet bag. Hellscape ain't my poke chump, they're just a chump in my chaotic adventures. They tag themselves as my loyal dog wife, but they're about as useful <laughs> as a broken bending unit. Yeah, this is old has, but it's a penguin. in chaos without him. Thank you very much. The fifth circle of hell. I wonder how they set it up. That one's cool too. They got like a custom design and everything for that one. Kitty Graha, yeah. That one is neat. They call it Chatta. I forget what they call Oaths Penguin. Ch Chatatia. I didn't know that Lele doesn't VTube as much anymore. How come? I mean, I don't know if you, if you even know. Maybe she just has a comfort in damn streams now. She still VTubes most of the time. That was a cooking stream. Oh, okay. Lamau, L Kobolds. Couldn't even stop me from getting their aetherite. Boom! Get mugged. So this is the aetherite the company of heroes used to gain access to Titan Sanctuary. This is Pap Papalimo speculated. In its present state, this aetherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you'll have to proceed without me, Senna. I must needs remain here and supplement this beacon's power, lest you be denied your own your only path of escape. Fear not. I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do, you'll be on your own. Oakage. Now let us see if I am worth my salt. I am worth my salt. I've located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there. So stint not in your preparation. The Navelle is now accessible. Let me teleport to Ulda. I'm gonna go piss and I really want to get a drink. Give me one moment. Yippee! Don't, 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 I should have probably queued up, but I didn't know how long I'd be.
Dun, dun, dun. Do I have good gear? Have I gotten any gear out of these quests? Out of Gubu. Ooh, Velveteen gloves. Those are pretty okay. Statistically, they're a little bit better. Um, and I don't have anything else. I really wish I had food for EXP. Alas, we are not that fortunate. I have a shield, Lamau. These stabs are not better. Probably like start cleaning my, clearing my inventory a little bit. Fix the pole trip, please. Okay, you're fine. Okay. All this is trash. Trash. I don't think any of these are going to be better. I might as well just take them all. Forgot how much you get early game. Good lord, man. I'm just going to go sell everything. Go to the clothier over here. Got too much loot. Do not purchase battle gear. Let's just sell everything first. Weak sleeping potion? Go away. Beast skin blood. I'm not going to sell anything on the market board here. Nothing like worthwhile. Um, what are these for? Like a side quest that I have. Mocha grass was for, was for crafting. I guess I can keep the material, but like, gonna be replaced very easily, very soon. Oh yeah, wait. Uh, and then we need to open our armory chest and then get rid of this, 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 this. What are these? Brand new half gloves? Okay. Free roll ads are on. I hate you, Twitch. Really, I do. Oh my god, I have these. Lambert Dispeller. Okay. Sick. We made like no money off of that. Obviously, but whatever. We got some stuff sold. Eight minute wait time. Man. DPS cues. I want money. Yeah, man, I feel that one. Who even needs money? Me. I need money. And a lot of it. The manor stuff is carrying right now. <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the five biddies. Now that's the real money. Hell yeah.
Dun, 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 dun. At least you could like solo do these, right? If I really truly wanted to, I could just run it on my own. God, this is not going to be as... This is the, the four player one. Yo, yesterday, guys, I finally got the final, uh, final spells. The last few that I needed for Blue Mage. I only needed two more, but I finally got them. Blue Mage officially done. No longer do I have to grind. To the, to the ends of the earth. Feels good, man. Well, I say that, but there are still things I need to do with Blue Mage, but uh, I will never get enough people Willing to do that. Blue Mage has, um, what do you call him? Blue Mage has, like, a logbook, and the logbook has, you have to do raids, dungeons, and something else. I think, no, wait. It's dungeons, trials, and raids. You have to do all of them. With like a, a pre-planned group. The dungeons won't be too hard. Because you only need four. You asked me if I wanted to join the group for blue mage group stuff? Yeah, but I want to do it with friends. That's my, that's my propaganda. They are my friends, so now they are your friends. Look how sus shaped the shadow is. Bruh. This is a shadow of even. Oh my god. Um Not a big deal. I mean, you only need 4 people for the dungeons. That's manageable. I can always find four people who are willing to run Blue Mage dungeons. But I think the problem with it is you have to do minimum eye level. I don't know if I have to get gear for it or if I can just run the gear I have and it just runs synced or what. I'm not sure how that works. It's the only thing that's like, ooh. Determination 2. You can't even meld anything on these. <laughs> What's the point? Look, an overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. He uses our aether rights against us. Just defiled Titan's sacred sanctuary. Trespass violated the filed. Overdwellers must leave. They must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear her not. Her fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. 
Hear me, Overdweller. You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant. You shall be the f you shall be first to face judgment. Then Limsa Laminsa and her oath breakers, liars, betrayers, oath breakers. Oh, great father, lord of crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. This is a banger. He has come. The Lord of Crags is Titan is come. Oh God, Overdweller, art thou deaf to their weeping? Thy vile kind co coveteth, coveteth ever the blessing of the land and murders my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. But, ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Ifrit low. <clears throat> Godless over the dweller, thy myriad heresies shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak a terrible vengeance. <laughs> Yo, why he got no neck though? It's like, why does it go so hard, man? Dude, I'm on the edge. My cast times aren't even fast enough for this. I won't even be able to LB it. The Lord of Crags, Great Father Titan has fallen. Easy. Another one. My eyes! Oh, good lord!
The crimes of the overdweller dwellers shall never be forgiven. Never be forgotten. No. Never. It was your kin who broke the covenant. We have acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths, we shall defy you. Denied, decry, defy. Goodbye. Now these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I've seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure that is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not yet know its true capabilities. Capabilities. Then trust in mine. Rita Tin. My curiosity, as you so elo eloquently put it, would have bested Titan in the blink of an eye. Why? If there's, if there be truth to the legends, you could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea given but a little while, a while longer. Is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may well be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will. Have a little faith, my friend. I cannot endorse this action, this course of action. <laughs> Imagine saying Ultima is the greatest power in the world. True. Cool. And now she has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bear. Far though you have come, your work is far from done. Stor. And not remain to mark his passing. Well, the Essens are nothing if not elusive. It is of little wonder that they should cast advan advanced teleportation magics at will. But that they would choose to consort with the Empire. What common goal could they possibly share? <laughs> La Brea. I fear I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well in hand. I've taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I'll follow Anon. <laughs> I'll follow Anon-chan. An Anon-chan. There's something I must investigate before I depart. I'll teleport you to the Aetherite and Zelma's run, and we will rendezvous in at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed? We will run Desvez. Let us run Desvez. I got three player comms. <laughs> New blood. Wow. Never get that amount of con uh, commendations, uh, you know, in the level 80s and 90s, you know, late game. I'm relieved to see you well. But come, let's discuss our next step. Okay, age. Though word will already have reached Maelstrom co Command, protocol requires that a representative of our, of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Senna. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. Oh boy, Limsa Laminsa. This is one of my favorite tops. This one right here. Cool. 
I made a Bloodborne fit with that top. Or is at least one close to it. Storm Mage. Thank you for coming, Senna. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago. But I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First Ifrit and now Titan. Truly. When I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly. And there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Limbs and Laments are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Silence of the Seventh Dawn. Oh, Cage. Stop clapping. This is Minfilia. Yishtola has informed me of your su success. You, will, you have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea. One that shall not be forgotten. Forgotten. And what is more, both you and Yishtola emerged from Ogomoro, unscathed. Why, Tatru and the others seemed as glad as, as glad of that as they did of Titan's fall. We can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting your return to the Waking Sand. There's much to discuss. Godspeed. It's not even over yet. Now it's Garuda time. Do I have any titles? I, mean, I haven't even checked because it's still going to be main story. Gambler, okay. The only title I have is Gambler. Unbelievable. B. BK. Burger King? What? Um... Right, I know. Yes. How could I forget? This one is glad. Walking one is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heaven she is safe. Yeah, I'm chilling. Louisois, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Ifrit and Titan. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. <laughs> Come. 
Confound it. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Conditions? There speaks the Supreme Zion. I'll grant you her coach, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. <laughs> That's even happened yet. <laughs> I mean, oh God. Oh Jesus. Of surrender denied. <laughs> Cease at once. Dumb oh. cabbage, bro. Simply one of the most Did important scenes in, in the whole story. Perhaps. Enough. We must away. All of a realm reborn, running through it, was worth it Who for just that scene. Found our quarry? The High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. I said enough! Damn. We leave. Bring the prisoners. Walking one. Minfili asked this one to. In case walking one returned, this one was to say, at church in Eastern Thanalan, walking one must claim sanctuary. This one tried, tried to protect walking one from walking one Minfilia from imperial ones. Yeah, yeah, you tried your damnedest. Forgive this one. Save. Yo, the others got stabbed and shot several times over. This one got kicked to the side and into a wall and... Rip. Oh yeah, that's right. The church area, right? I think. No, no, it's not. Oh wait, yes it is. Ah, do I remember this place all too well. I think I've done this about 16 times over. something troubling you my child you have the look of one who has endured great suffering is there if there is anything i can do to help anything at all you need only ask the wild roses are dead father i do not know what to do forgive me father for i have sinned curse my f enemies father call down divine vengeance upon those who butchered my friends the crimes of which you speak are grave yet i cannot do what you ask of me be assured however that the gods see all 
If you would ask them for anything, let it be justice and not vengeance. God damn it. Wild roses, I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends of the Scions. I really couldn't choose that one. Couldn't choose vengeance. Fair enough. How could this have happened? And you are certain that Minfilia was among those taken by the Garleans? Indeed. But she's the only one we can confirm was taken. Let us play, pray no further harm comes to them. We stay here for as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of Minfilia's. I've known her since she was but a child. What do I recall of the uh, recall the day of our first meeting? I swore then to do everything in my power to support her, and I will gladly off offer the same the self same service to her brother and sister Scions. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marx, would you come here for a moment? Marques, Marx, Marques, Marques. Oh, I forgot. If you require assistance, pray speak with Marquez. He's a trifle shy, but I assure you, he means well. I should explain, Marx Marquez is a survivor of the Battle of Cartanal. Alas, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had, he not, had we not taken him into our care, he sure, surely would have perished in the desert. Marquez, I want you to look after Senna, do you understand? Yes, father. I fear you meet him here. That's what do you mean? Excuse me, Senna. Do you have a moment? It concerns the broken horologe, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for bur bur burial. Burial. There's something familiar about it, but just what I cannot say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I'd ask that you journey to Camp Drybone in my stead to obtain a ballpoint chisel and a pair of needle nose pin pincers. They are often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to fo foot the bill. Here, take this coin purse. That should cover it. Thanks, Marquez. A bullpoint chisel, you say, and a pair of needle nose pincers. Those things don't come cheap, you know. You're not. That was balls. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business with you. Right. Now Marcus is going to be pissed because we gave him the entire coin, coin purse. in DC, don't know. There's still a thaumaturge. Have you brought the tools I requested? Indeed. Boom and boom. Hmm. Something occurs to me. Please wait here a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands, my hands, they moved with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motion countless times before. Pardon me, Senna. This was a mistake. 
Please give the horlage to Sister Eluned. The man who once owned it is currently in her care. I think it best that it be returned to him. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Good morrow to you, madam. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? No. Take this. Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time? Mayhap they are more common in Garlemald. I'm given to understand that its cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Mark has said it belonged to the deceased? Oh. Oh dear. You don't suppose that the owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But mayhap more importantly, how did Marquez manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs. Oh, God. I recognize you now, Senna. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you. But you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part might help you find closure. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Like, why does this song go so hard? For a mount. You don't look like one of them church fellas. Not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to Lichyard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. It was the stuff of nightmares, I'll tell you. Us damn Imperials. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks. And I sure as hell don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't I seen you around here before? Or do you have one of them faces? Ah, oh, never mind. Any road. There's a carriage to come uh, carriage come to haul the bodies to Lichyard. Lichyard. Out by the east gate. There's only eight left to load up, but I'm seeing but seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying carrying all the others, I've a mind to leave the remainder to you. I want to cover your nose while you work. Some of the folk are starting to turn. Ew. Oh my god, they literally- I'm gathering them all at once? I am powerful. No wonder that I'm the warrior of light. I can carry four corpses on me. I didn't even look. True. True. Level 34 or 5? Thank goodness. It's like, why would you give me a buckler when I can't even use it? I feel like we're beyond like using these at, at this point. At this point. Finally though, a better staff. Good heavens me. What happened to the big fella? I forget it. Just bring the next batch and toss them in the back. Like they'll complain if you're rough. Okay, kind of weird. 
Well, ain't you a strong one. Four in one trip. Reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand for, with the rest then. Okay, dude. No, the sylph. Now the sylphs are going to be pissed. One of their own is dead and they got kicked, roundhouse kicked into a wall. L cabbage, I guess. Come on, come on. Let's finish this before I die of old age. Okay, man, chill. That should be all of them. Thanks for the help. Reckon it won't take too long to deliver all the corpses to Lichyard. Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work here is done. Yeah, buddy. I'll be sure to do that. Can I finally, like, meld this? Bro. Oh, I only have extraction. I don't have melding yet. Yeah, that adds up. Adds up. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, why can't I meld anything onto my gear? It simply didn't click until now. And now it makes sense. I see that you decided to heed my advice. I pray that, I'm in doing so, you found some small measure of peace. The first carriage from Vesper, Vesper Bay arrived not long ago, and we ha have begun preparing your comrades for burial. 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 I had a hand in the initial rites, and I, I would like you to know that, for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect, and do everything we can to shepherd them to Thal's realm. Wicked. Although we can perform rites for most of the scions, there is one whom we cannot accept. We'd like to return this one to our people, the Sylphs of Little Solace. It is only proper that she be given to, into the care of her friends and family. They may mourn in her accordance with Sylphic tradition. That's a terrible idea. Boring Weevil, Lemur, Zizgorlin, I thought her name was Dyslexia for a moment, I was like, what? Hello, J. This one's surprised to see Walking One in Little Solace. How can these ones assist walking, waking, walking One? Oh, sorry. And Roxia, but this, this one does not understand. Oh, man. So this one has heard much wailing. This one would know what was causing such distress. Hey! Uni, thank you for the raid. What's up? Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. We're playing through the entirety of Final Fantasy XIV all over again. What's poppin'? You guys have a good stream? You're a weeb? Good to hear. Now what? 
Now the mods send you into the Shadow Realm. Cult of the Lamb. God, I haven't played Cult of the Lamb in so long. Wait, that's come. You need stop spilling all your cum on me. I'm sorry, I can't control it. It's like it's like a, it's like a bladder thing, you know. Is that Tasu? Oh, uh, bladder. What are you doing, Step? You need. <laughs> God, what a time that was. There's so many people in worlds. Crazy. Then after we did a du 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 duel. <clears throat> Uni, what's up? Thank you for the raid. I hope, it, I hope you had a good Cult of the Lamb stream. I, I've been eager to like go back to it because I haven't played in a hot minute. In a very, very long while. But I don't I don't know if there's been DLC or like any anything added to it. Like, is there new stuff? Hmm. Yeah, welcome to the stream. We're we're running the entirety of the story for Final Fantasy XIV all over again, specifically for the next expansion that comes out in like a year, maybe less than a year, but give or take a few months, probably a year time, a year's time. They said summer of 2020, uh, 2024. So that was a rough estimate, but who knows? Who knows how long it will take. God damn. They had a big patch. What did the big patch have? <laughs> we just handed in one of their uh, brethren. So not only Naroxia, but many of the weight walking one's friends were, were lost as well. Naroxia. I actually went to Thanaland at the behest of one of, uh, of this one. Walking one was with Naroxia at the end. Tell this one that Naroxia was brave. Tell this one that Naroxia did not suffer. This one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Naroxia home, Walking One. These ones also wish to thank praying one, praying ones. Tell praying ones that these ones will remember th this kindness. This one demands vengeance. Imperial ones must pay. Imperial ones must suffer. When the time comes for walking ones to face imperial ones, do not forget these ones. These ones would not have Doraxia's death be for naught. These ones will fight. Right, right. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. I see you aren't a weeb. I'm not a weeb. Oh wait, that's right. No, I'm not. I'm not a weeb. No, I hate anime a lot. Actually, I I'm not a. I don't like anime. Right. I hate anime. I I don't think I've ever watched an anime in my life. Not once in my life. Definitely not. Certainly not. Does the anime man? Oh no, this is just like Oh no, this is um have you ever seen those like comics with the You know the superheroes but they look like this? Yeah, like No, I hate anime. Mistook you for something else? No, it's it. Oh, listen, it happens all the time. There's that. There, listen, it's okay. Fine. I'm not offended. 
I, I can understand where the mistake comes from. You know, a lot of people have told me that I look like the per kind of person that probably watched a lot of anime and probably have manga above his head at the moment. Um, but that is not true. I don't have manga above my head and I've definitely not watched a lot of anime. Um, and I definitely don't have an anime mouse pad. Definitely not. For sure, for certain not, for certain not. I just like video games, and um, I also really like comic books. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zader. Got that mouse pad with a good rest, rest cushion? I actually do not. That is no joke. I, I do not have... I just have a, a big mouse pad for my, my... The primary area of my desk. I have one of those corner desks, so... It's got, like, weeb cherry blossoms and whatnot on it. And, uh, some clouds. Some nice clouds and stuff. You know how it'd be. It's all purple. I like purple. I do, in fact, have a giant shelf of manga above my head, though. Yeah. That is true. This thing out, man, I got that Amazon basic mouse pad on top of my Corsair extended mouse pad. You know, I debated it for a long time, but I need to move my mouse all over the uh, the desk. It's kind of like an importance. Like it, it kind of carries. We're the same age. Oh man, my deepest condolences to you. I hope your back is not suffering as badly as mine. I just cranked my DPI. Well, I could do that, but... I favor, favor having more space than my desk. Granted, my desk is quite small, but... I do what I can with my knees and such. Oh man, I cannot. That's actually not entirely true. I'm, I'm quite okay. My suffering begins with my stomach. I'm a stomach sufferer, a tummy hurt survivor, if you will. We thank you for your service to the church and to the sylphs. You may be pleased to know that in your absence, we interred and remain, uh, re interred the remaining scions in the lichyard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends. If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please take a rest and set your burdens aside for now, Senna. Thank you. Give me the glasses. Thick. These are definitely better, so put them on. I think they're better. Yep. Indeed they are. You can't apply glamour plates here. Of course I can't. I couldn't play. Why would I ever be able to? So Zader, what's your favorite anime? Do tell. I want to know. Granted, if you ask me the same question back, I won't have an answer for you because I never have a number one favorite anime. I always say Soul Eater as a coping mechanism because when people ask me my favorite anime, I don't know what to answer. I simply do not know. I, I would just say Nier Automata, but that's just a video game. We don't count the anime. I'm not imagining it, Senna. I know I'm being watched. This is different, sinister. It is as if I am under observation. The feeling comes and goes, but I felt it last when I last ventured outside. Yes. I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me, please? It will only take a moment. Who are you kidding, bro? My Hero Academia. It's fun, funny you mentioned My Hero. I never watched Demon Slayer. Um, I am very, as people say, hipster with anime. So, unfortunately, we uh, we don't discuss my, my opinions on most popular anime. However, My Hero Academia... I most certainly did not binge watch the entirety of it last month definitely not but um yeah i never watched demon slayer i prefer like the uh the less popular anime i guess in quotes because i watched my hero and i really enjoyed my hero academia 
So much so that I bought the manga to continue, continue the series. However, my favorite part about that is that Amazon decided to give me the book after the book that I ordered first. So, I have not received the continuing manga book of My Hero. Instead, I have the book that continues after that continuation. And then I will probably end up getting the one that's releasing in September before the book that I need to read first. And I'm pissed. I mean, I may not have have a list of over 300 animes completed. My anime list, uh, I used to have one. I had, I had a lot. Throughout high school, middle school, high school, and like parts of college, before I became like started streaming more often, I watched a lot of anime. It's it's practically the only thing I did, and then I would AFK and RuneScape while I did that. You were attacked, weren't you? Are you unharmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. He was watching me, but why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I need to think. Please allow me one, uh, a moment alone. Wait, fa Father Iliad must hear of this. Will you tell him for me? It is important. I think others may come for me once again. Yeah, just check the list. 404. That is a lot. What did I watch? There's, I mean, there's obviously way too much to li like list, but I don't know, like Nisekoi, Haganai. I could look at my manga and I could tell you which stuff I read and watched. The Monogatari series is some one of my favorite like things. Heaven's Fourth End. That such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Did you notice anything distinctive about his garb or possessions? Yes. He's imperial scum. This is guardly and steel. Which means the man who was watching Marquez was... Make haste to Camp Drybone at once. We must summon the immortal flames before, they, before more Imperials come. Trying to save the guy, huh? Send him back. It's too late. We're doomed to fail. Death. Oh, what's up, Alpha No? A pleasure as always. I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Okay. And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time. Tragic Master love stories? Garland, I have come for you. I... I like the darker anime. I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg... I like hor horror. Leave I like horror, place. and I like... Um... Wait. I could be wrong. I'm enjoying I... Hell's Paradise. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not very caught up with, like, recent <laughs> anime. Oh, he's getting fried. He's beginning to morb. Eorzea needs you. The most recent enemies that I watched were Mashal and Oshinoko. I also watched Call of the Night, but that was what, like a year ago now? It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Is it time for discovery? A uh, Sid, was it? Here. These belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief. These days, though, I stream so much that I just... I don't have time to, to watch anything. We um Faso and I want to watch uh, Dr. Stone. I think that's the next thing we're going to watch. Is he beginning to remember? Especially if you like sciencey stuff. I do be liking sciencey stuff. Are you? Steins Gate is like one of my all-time favorites. 
It's in my like top ten for sure. Time to get very good. I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. Dine's Gate was the gateway to my addiction to Dr. Pepper, unironically. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the calamity, the three city states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. Just slow, plus the science is a bit wobbly. Like Doctor Who wobbly? I love Doctor Who though. Doctor Who is great. I like wobbly. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Doctor Who supernatural. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to... I haven't watched Doctor Who since, uh, even their mightiest God Matt Smith. I didn't watch any Peter, Peter Capaldi stuff. If we are to face our foe... But I really enjoyed it. The tempest that shields her I binged it, and then I was like, alright, I'm satisfied. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. The airship. I... I have an airship? Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania. Not long before the calamity, so let us begin our search there. Uh, an, an airship. Uh, uh, this reminds me of my Ben airship. Kenobi, but with like a, I don't know, some goggles on his head. Wait. Oh, snap. Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. Hell yeah. Yeah, Doctor Who and Supernatural, I, I binged a lot of. I never ended up finishing, uh, Sherlock. To truly become a super hulak they need my ash incarnate they need me what a curious twist of fate that master sid garland would at last be found within our church it defies imagination Be beg your pardon Sina. you wish to find his airship yes I don't know how to how much truth there is to it. There is a tale known as the Final Flight of the Enterprise, which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity. Much like the Great Gubu Wall of Olda, it states that the Enterprise flew northwest from Gridania towards Quartas. If true, the airship would have passed through the North Shroud, likely over Bolgord Float. Close to settlement to Quartas. Quartas. And I actually don't know how they say it. I always say Korthas, but that makes no sense. It's probably Korthas. May have the serpents stationed there have records of the events that transpired that day. I'd hoped you might rest from your journeys for a time. But I see that the world still has need of you and, and Scions. Try looking after yourself and Sid, Senna. Goodbye, J. Ooh, why does it sound weird?
It has been a good chat. I'm glad you appreciate it, or I'm glad you're enjoying it. I truly do enjoy having a chat about a, a conversation of many of things. I have my culture and my cringe, a lot of cringe. Definitely a lot of cringe on top of the uh, the usual culture. But I think everyone needs a little bit cringe in their life, you know? A lack of cringe does not create a character. You just become a an NPC. Is there all I can assist you with, miss? The Enterprise, you speak of Master Garland's ship, yes? Aye. I need to refer to the records. I know the airship was sighted overhead five years ago, clearly bound for Corthus. What became of it after? I can, uh, after that, I cannot say. If you wish to know more, pray speak to Vortifart at Florentil's Spire. He was on duty that day and saw it with his own eyes. I'm unsure what it is you hope to accomplish, though. Even should you locate the ship, would you not need a man of Master Garland's caliber to fly it? I hear that machinery is fiendly, fiendishly com complex. What you don't know won't hurt you. You're not. We'll be okay. Choose. Cringe makes good stories? Precisely. You got near raids for a roulette? Hell yeah. Sag? Ah, that's right. You hate them. You mean the best raids in all of the, the game? I love near raids. You have come in search of Fortifart. Then well met. You have found him. Indeed, I have served as a whaler for many years. Since before the great snows came to Corthus. What exactly is this about? I'm going to make food before I do my own Twitch stuff. Great chatting with you. Hope get, I hope to catch you around another time. Hey, have a good rest of your day, Zader. I hope your food is tasty, delicious. And I hope your Twitch stuff goes swimmingly as well. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for stopping by and chatting about with me. About fringe. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, the final flight of the Enterprise. I do indeed remember that day. Okay, you can... It was on the eve of the Battle of Cartano, nigh on five years ago, I held the Spire alone that night, while the bulk of our forces marched to meet the enemy in the field. Then all of a sudden, the most fantastic airship I had ever seen splits the sky overhead. I could only watch in shock as it disappeared over the mountains to the northwest. If the Enterprise wasn't destroyed during the Calamity, I'd wager it's still somewhere in Corthus. The Astrologians at the Obser Observatorium may have records which could help. But to attain them, you need to deal with the Ishgardians who control the region. I wouldn't expect much, though. The High House have, been, have long been concerned with their own affairs above all else. When Dalamuda descended, they took shelter behind their gates and even now have little regard for the plights of other nations. Nevertheless, they may deign to assist you... Should you prove yourself useful? Consider proving yourself, proving your services to the so soldiers who guard the observatorium. Though they may refuse you at first, I have little doubt they would accept aid freely offered. I'm not gonna lie. I thought Corthus is something we go to way later. I guess this isn't Ishgard. This is just the, the Highlands. But I'm I'm a little surprised. I thought we don't go here until Heavensward, and Heavensward isn't anywhere near. Like what I don't even know where we're at yet. What are we cold reception? I mean we're we're at least, it, we're at a good pace. That's good. Excuse me, can you repeat that? You wish to offer your services to House Durandair? And what, pray tell, do you wish to receive an exchange? Ha <laughs> how absurd. If we would permit an outsider to peruse the records of the observatorium. Do not mistake your courtesy for friendliness. The Holy See of Ishgard may allow foreigners to travel freely within these lands, but we do not intend to offer succor to strangers. 
Oh, cage. What does this look like? Alone have mercy. Are you still here? You may take shelter within our walls if you insist, but do not distract me while I'm on duty. We stretch thin as it is. And where in the hells is that knight I sent on patrol? He should have returned ages ago. Hmm, perhaps I have a use for you after all. If you wish to aid us, search the wilds to the west for my missing men. You will know him by his uniform, out of House Durandere, as is mine. Oh yeah, because we do the observatorium stuff. But we don't... I don't... Do we go to Ishgard before it? I don't think so. I, I can't remember. I, I thought Ishgard was, like, locked away until we got into Heavensward. But, like... I, my buttons aren't working. I don't know why. Ow. The reason I hate why I hate in your raids is because we didn't get fl a flight unit mount. <clears throat> I guess it's fair. That's understandable. We got the pods though. And the pods are cool. And then you get the Gabriel mounts from uh Bosja, which are cool too. If it wasn't for you, miss, I reckon they would have finished me off. Despicable dragon loving bastards. Death was a was a mercy they didn't deserve. The what mount? The pod. Oh, the Gabriel mounts. <laughs> it's a good mount. I prayed the rumors were mistaken, but this confirms the worst. I must immediately inform my su superiors that the heretics are operating within this region. Fairly well, friend. See ya. If I see, I mean, I'm following you all the way back, so. See you in a moment. All the way back to Lud Ludovoy. I must say, I didn't actually expect you to find my knight, much less rescue him. I see I may have been premature in my judgment, miss. We are proud people beholden to tradition, but that does not mean we are without humil humility. I shall instruct the astrologians to entertain your request. However, understand that it is ultimately their decision whether or not you may peruse their records. Pray proceed to the observatorium and introduce yourself to Edmel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Edmel. Ah, uh, the lady come in search of the airship. This is highly unorthodox. Whatever could Sir Ludovoy be thinking? It is true that we maintain meticulous records that which stretch back generations. However, because this information used is used to chart Drav Dravanian activity, access is strictly controlled. We can never, one can never be too careful with heretics and their sympathizers lurking about. If you would persist with your inquiries, Pray seek an audience with Chief Astrologian for Lamort up above. All right, well, now we go up 50 flights of stairs. One of my favorites. The best part is you can just use a mount. But it almost feels wrong. No, absolutely not. Have you an inkling what it is you ask? Were our records to fall in the, into the wrong hands, to change the course of a war which has raged for generations? I speak not of some mere, some mere spat between southern nations. Ours is a holy crusade and we are the arbiters of Halone's will. I will not put our great nation at risk, certainly not to help a foreigner locate a missing airship of all things. Pardon the intrusion for Lamort, for Lamort. I wish to speak with you regarding the recent- Oh, I did not realize you had a guest. Inquisitor 
ye a... Um, your honor with us... Uh, your honor... Uh, you honor us with your presence, sir. The lady was just leaving. Ah, you must be one of those who rescued House Durandere's knights from those heretics. Doubtless they feel indebted to you. I'm told you seek an airship last seen in Corthus five years ago, yes? You come, at an, come to us at an inconvenient time, I fear. Much has changed in the intervening years, and little for the better. While I wish you the best of luck in your search, I would also strongly advise caution. The snows can come quickly in Corthus. One moment you feel as though you have a firm grasp on your surroundings, safe and secure in your knowledge. And the next, you may find yourself in a wholly unfamiliar situation, blind to the dangers hidden by the, de uh, by the blizzard. It would be wise for you to focus on a single landmark while it's traveling. Do not give in to temptation and deviate from your course. I was not aware you aided House Durandere in that fashion. Thank you, madam. Nevertheless, my decision stands. I cannot give you what you seek. But you will. But you will give us this information. Hi there, you there, madam. I, you, I could not help but overhear your conversation with the chief astrologian. There may be a way I can assist you, but it would require that you perform for me a favor in exchange. An associate of mine has yet to return from his expedition to the cliffs east of the observatorium. He was adamant that he could conduct his observations alone, despite the presence of Ixel in that vicinity. If you would seek out this astrologian and confirm that he is well, it would be a great comfort to me. Okay. Boom. Boom. This is my five key just doesn't want to work. And I don't know if it's like my keyboard's dying or what. I mean, it's, it's in a 3.0 USB hub, so I don't understand. Maybe I truly do have too many USB things connected, but I need all of them. And the things that I don't need are unplugged. There's no space for more, more USBs. Maybe I just need to get a super big hub. Hunting log. Give. What a relief to see someone other than a goddamn birdman. I thought I could finish my work while whilst the Excel were away. They returned far quicker than I anticipated. It was all I could do to hide. And hope they would they might leave again before I froze to Wait, who are you? Not one of our knights. One of the house Durandere cannot be seen in the company of an unbeliever. Good day, madam. Maybe I should have just left him to dead to die. Nothing of value would have been lost anyway. We're almost level 42. At least I get my thing next. Soon. Soonj. My fire starter. And then I can actually use fire 3. Sometimes when it procs. I do have my Black Mage questline to do as well. I think I'm two quests behind. No, because we did 35, so only one. Only one quest. I can only imagine people seeing a here driving up the staircase with a motorcycle. The arrogant fool returned not long before you arrived, muttering about the disgrace of having to be rescued by an unbeliever. Unbeliever. This isn't right for underestimating the dangers of our, our knights face every day. Ah, uh, but you are eager to locate the airship. It may surprise you that by saving him, you have already aided your own cause. House Durandere is quick to regard outsiders with suspicion, as it is their duty to sound the alarm at the first sign of Dravanian aggression. Yet you have already aided them twice, for which they are honor bound to repay you. Even so, they will not grant you access to the observatorium's records. That is just as well. But there are other ways you might locate your missing airship. What I propose is that you petition Lord Porta Lane for an official introduction to the 
High houses. Um, the word of ha House Durandere carries tremendous weight in Ishgard. Should the captain consent, you would have little trouble obtaining information from the other ha High houses. Okay. Oh, Doing ninja rotation with just a mouse. It's a core memory. Easy. I didn't like ninja that much after a while. I didn't feel like learning the rotations or like the openers anymore. I am forever a caster, I guess. Hard stuck caster. Sag. And yet pog. I feel like I'm acing the, the black mage rotation at level 90, so... Pretty good. I do still have some slip ups. And I need to figure out better times to like move to dodge certain like mechanics. Or to prep for certain mechanics, I guess, as well. You caused quite a stir in your short time here. First, you slay two heretics and save a knight. And now I hear you rescued a man of our house. I must imagine you must desire something for your troubles. An introduction to the high houses. I cannot deny that you have given us no cause to distrust you. But while you have performed two acts, you would have me. You would have me endorse you three high houses. It's only fitting that you aid us one final time, won't you agree? Okay. No, no, I understand you are very eager to find your mission missing airship. Worry not, for this task should, a wo t should take a woman of your skills, but a moment to complete. Not long ago, a porter bound for Skyfire Locks was ambushed on the road due west of here. Though he escaped with his life, would very much like his wares as well. On the off chance any portion of his ship shipment remains, I would have you travel to the scene of the robbery and bring back what you find. Unless you intend to... People advertise in, in Central High... What is... Sorry, the chat thing. Someone posted a thing. There, people advertise in the Central Highlands? No one goes here. Bear in mind that recovering the stolen merchandise will endear you to House Helenart. Further improving the chances that they indulge for, uh, your request for aid. Found it. So much for stolen. They're just tossed about the, the roads here. Damn. I always forget you can't just swift yoink it here. Oh, okay. He gets one shot. Got it. What better way it, than to restore mana than literally s transposing into the, uh, the blizzard. Have you good tidings to share? Or better yet, stolen merchandise to show? Yeah, here you go. God bless you, friend. It's all here. Every last... Ah, but wait. That chest over there looks like it might have been pillaged. Bloody hells. That's the personal property of Lord Francel, too. Are you certain? Are you certain? Clearly an attempt was made to open it. The lock appears to, to have held. Nevertheless, if you wish to verify the contents against your shipping manifest, be my guest. Here you take me, a draconian rosary, in the possession of Lord Frenzel? Yet perhaps this is not 
so difficult to fathom. House Hel Helenart is whispered to be infested with heretics. Thank you for bringing this matter to my attention, miss. I shall inform the Inquisitors immediately. Under these circumstances, I strongly advise against associating with House Helenart. Your other introductions will need to be postponed as well. It is the duty of every ish guardian to root out and destroy heretics. All of us must wait until this matter is resolved. Fine. Let's go, fire starter. Come closer and listen well. This is only this is for your ears only. Lord Fensel is no heretic. He is goodly. He is a goodly, righteous man, wholly dedicated to the cause. I know because I served House Eleanor for years prior to the Calamity. You must go to Skyfire Locks and warn him of the coming storm. The Inquisitors are ruthless and will spare him no mercy. Speak to him of the Edelweiss. And he will know you for a friend. Now go. Oh, God. breaks into your home. Hello. Yes, you look as though you have something to say, do you? Is that an Edelweiss in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? <laughs> I see, Sir Carla has not forgotten my mother's favorite flower. A pity that has not been seen in Corthus since the Calamity. You may speak freely here, friend. Action is coming. That's absurd. I would die sooner than thr become thrall of the dragons. Alas, it matters little what I say at this point. The other draconian, draconian rosary w was not found in my possession. It's still considered to be considered by many to be proof of my heresy. I must do my utmost to prove my innocence to the Inquisitors, for if they harbor even the slightest doubt, this will only add the in incessant accusations our house has suffered of late. It's as though the gods themselves are following our fall. You risk much by coming here. It is only proper that I re recompense you, recompense, recompense you for this deed. Tell me what you desire, and I shall do my best to provide. A missing airship, I see. It may require a prolonged effort to locate your quarry. I shall direct you to one in a better position to assist you. Lord Harshifont. Of the House Fortem's command in the garrison camp, Dragonhead, present him present to him his letter of introduction. This letter of introduction, he will surely be receptive to your needs. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Oh boy. I was like, what is that? You know, I should probably... Oh, what's up, Alpha No and Sid? I didn't even realize they were here. Might be a good thing to attune to, yeah. Ah, the unmistakable swagger of a well-traveled adventurer. If you are come to, t to pay your respects, be at ease, friend. I'm not one to stand on formality. Truth be told, I would gr gladly welcome many and more brave souls like yourself. But enough chatter. Pray, pray tell me why you have come.
If there is any justice in this world, these charges will receive no serious consideration. It is beyond inconceivable. Ah, yes. Letter made mention of a pressing matter for which you require assistance. What might that be? So this enterprise you speak of was last seen above Corthus before the Calamity five years ago. I fear it may prove difficult to find any eyewitness to these events. For while Ishgar did not participate in the Battle of Cartano, they were embroiled in our own internal conflict at the time. Nevertheless, I will make inquiries on your behalf and share with you my findings in the future. In the meantime, please enjoy the hospitality of Camp Dragonhead. I will see that you are afforded every courtesy as a guest of House War Temps. As you have doubtless realized by now, the house of the High House of Ishgard, the House Fortems included, are either unable or unwilling to offer you formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that there are no in influential individuals within each house who are sympathetic to your cause. I shall be sending missives of your of their various rep representatives in Ishgard. Though I suspect it would be quicker and more efficient if you make your if you were to make your inquiries on your own. 39 of my own mine own house four times who resides in Camp Dragonhead rather enjoys the company of travelers. There's also traveling of the house Alan Art will be found at Skyfire Locks, though any information you pry from the scribe may prove to be prove difficult to parse. Have you spoken with the chief astrologian of House Durende yet? Really? Hmm. Perhaps he will be more accommodating once I inform him that you are that you are a friend of House Four Temps. Do not conserve yourself with House de Mail. I shall contact them myself. I seek counsel of the three I mentioned. Seek the counsel of the three I mentioned and then return to me when we finish. O Cage. Thanks, or Horse Chiffant. Why, hello. Good madam. What's that? An airship, you say? I hate to disappoint you, but I know nothing of what you seek. Likely no one of House Fortemps does. Or if they did, I would definitely know as well. The topic on everyone's lips these days is what will become of young Lord Francel. Some say the allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Halenart have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. Fortunate. All right, let's get out of Dragonhead and all the way to the south. Or I guess let's leave Camp Dragonhead and go towards Dragon. True. Hit me with like crazy music on the way just to talk to people. Alone grant me strength. There must be some way to... Oh, who are you? A friend of Lord Horshfond? I want to help you. I truly do. But these accusations of heresy have thrown House Helnart into chaos. Right now, we must focus on combat combating these charges and preserving our reputation. Okay. Astrological phenomena. Bruh. I just remember there was a glamour I wanted to, to make, but it has to be an Azusa. 
Hey, Fuller Mort. I, I gather since you, you have been busy since we last spoke, Lord Harshfont's missive was positively glowing, but if you think that is his endorsement, that his endorsement is cause for me to disregard Ishgarden policies, then you are sorely mistaken. We are at war, madam, and the enemy grows bolder by the day. Why, the short time since Inquisitor Guillaume, or whatever, arrived in Corthus, countless heretics have been found, have been discovered, even amongst the elite of Ishgardian society. If Lord Horshfont wishes to waste his days chasing after a long-lost airship, then that is his choice. But if he expects others to share his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state of affairs. <clears throat> Fine. Have it your way. You'll regret it in the future when I let you die! One day he's gonna be like, Oh my god, Warrior of Light, help me! Please, I'm so scared, Warrior of Light. Please save me. And I'm gonna be like, Remember when you didn't give me this information, which could have sped up the process of everything? Yeah. Now you die. Perish. Ishgardian policies. Give me a break. Policy Ds. What is this from? Battle Mage Robe? Oh yeah, that's quest related. Yum. Yo. By your countenance, I take it you did not learn anything of use, nor did I, I fear. Seems the whole of Corthus is consumed by this talk of the heretics in the high houses. You can only hope that my sources in Ishgard Proper provide more pertinent information. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Francil, of whom much have been whispered in recent days. I received a report that he and three knights have been, were seen heading north towards the Steel Vigil. The outpost was long ago overrun by the Dravanian Horde. So I'm not certain that he intends to accomplish with what he t intends to accomplish with such a small force. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Pray journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Francil party requires assistance. Oh gods, here we go. How in the hell do I travel up there? I can go around? No. I assume from the other side of the camp. Imagine a life in which I can just fly. Crazy. I'm glad these two can just stand there in the cold like that. With no, like, concerns, fears, or, you know, getting hit with hypothermia or something. Unfit tonight. L. Uh oh. Who goes there? Senna? No, stay back. The fiend is still here. We just got hit by the AoE. He should be dead. We got a proct. Let's go! Oh, and be praised you did it. But what are the others? The three knights who accompanied me, where are they? There's one over here. Not feeling too good. Gotta say. 
Confound it all. How would you redeem House Helenart? We cannot e even slay a single Avis. But fortunately, you came, al came along when you did, miss. House Helenart will remember your kindness. Well, damn, you, you better. They teleported back here and spammed the message again? People are very persistent on their... Their DJing. In Final Fantasy XIV, I guess. Water. Are the beast cries from over yonder? The Lord Fransel is safe. Bless you, miss. Bless you. Curse those fiends. It's as though they knew we were coming. It was a foolish thing to do, I know. But I had hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of the Skelskin. Skelkin. Moreover... It was House Helenart that yielded the steel vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded that the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by these despicable accusations of heresy. Despite my best efforts, I have done naught to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should I, should my pro protestation protestation protestations fall on deaf ears i will proclaim my innocence to my dying breath okay but a row Urgh. like the horse font once again saving lives out here you know the double brimply to eat What did you find out of the Steel Vigil? I see. A reckless plan. But at least it did not cost him and his knights their lives. I have news for you as well. A witness for the final flight of the Enterprise has been found. The last there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Fransel at Skylocks, Skyfire Locks not long ago. <clears throat> Upon learning of this, the witness became understandably reticent to make your acquaintance. For fear of being seen in the company of a woman who might later be declared a heretic. A not unreasonable fear, given the zeal with which the which Inquisitor Giyame, Giyame has conducted his investigation. In any case, we wish to obtain his testimony. If we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Fensel's name, and by occasion, yours. Great. As I see it, the key to proving Lord Francis' innocence by is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the draconian rosary found in the chest you yourself re recovered. If you would, please tell me of the incident in question. It was found in a locked chest labeled as a property of Lord Francel. The rosary was not his, and someone else with axes must have planted it. Here's what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Rickman. Works closely with the porters who ferry goods across Corthus, so he may have some inkling of who could be responsible. What is that? What in the world is this? Huh. 
I expected that croc to attack me, but it didn't. Someone tampering with its shipments? Very striking me down. If all them rosaries found in our people's possessions were planted, hey now. Don't you give me that look, lass. My house hellnart man through and through. This heresy nonsense it is bad for me and my family too. I ain't saying the porters were what were bringing the shipment did it, though. I know most of them would work the trade routes, and I never had it, it, my god, never had cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them, neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, most of most every shipment is thoroughly, thoroughly inspected before it. Eh? Could it have been the fellows that were responsible for the inspections? Ha, huh. there's guardian knights and inquisitors, a lot of them. If they ever, if they'd ever turn their cloaks, I reckon that means that the porters are your most likely suspects. Get to think it, but maybe you should question them. There's a crew coming to Camp Dragonhead from White Brim Front this morning. You might consider having a word with them. This morning, it's 9 p.m. The morning, Iraq. It's popping. Happy Friday, bro. How's the gaming? Oh, you know. Pushing through. This is the portion that's the, the roughest to get through. IMHO. Beg your pardon, you suspect that we porters have been planting draconian rosaries in the house on our shipments? What nerve. If you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. Hmm, found it. Are we finished? If so, I would appreciate an apology. Check these out. But that's impossible. Once the night at White Brim Front concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels into the wagon myself. And if I had been the culprit, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. Say what you will to Lord Harshfant. I will not be held accountable for this, okay? Well, you're the sus, the, the sus one right now, bro. What do you mean? Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting. Uh, but more importantly, what did Rickman have to say? More draconian rosaries? And every single parcel bound for, lock, for Skyfire locks? That beggar's belief. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to sully House Helnart's reputation. Whoever is responsible has overplayed his hand. The praise alone that he did. Lord Francis' trial is upon us, and we must act now if we are to clear his name. From the very first, I knew it could not be that so many members of House... Dude, I'm so bad with his name. Elnart. Or heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these poisonous allegations and put an end to this travesty. I will need to prepare a formal statement regarding these developments uh, for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my words uh, to Inquisitor Briggy. Third, that the House Fortems ask nay, demands that House Frenzel's trial be postponed until a full investigation has been conducted. Okage. This is like the real rough part of uh, the Final Fantasy XIV. All of A Realm Reborn is very... I don't even have a word for it. Sluggish, I guess. What is it, my child, hmm? Lord Harshfont would have the Inquisitors, Inquisitors do what? But that is not possible. Inquisitor Giamin, Giami presides over Lord Francis' trial at Witch Drop even as we speak. Fear not, if Lord Francis is indeed innocent, he shall walk in Halone's halls with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. Okay. Fear not, but if he's executed, he will still walk with the rest. In the halls. They've taken Lord Francis to Witch Drop? This is madness. The Inquisitor does not have sufficient grounds to subject him to that manner of trial. 
Drink water. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die. Senna, I will dispatch you and one of my knights to Witch Drive to forestall the proceedings until such time that I'm able to join you and petition Inquisitor Yami in person. I will endeavor not to keep you waiting too long. Do whatever you must to keep Lord Francis alive. It will be done. Someone was fishing and just watched me jump off the, the wall like that. Honestly, one of the best things that could ever happen to a fisher. How else will things get exciting? Hail Senna. As you can see, Lord Francil yet lives. We must try to reason with the Inquisitor, but if the guards judge us as a threat, we must also be prepared to defend ourselves. Wait. Oh, okay. Meowdy. I can't say that because my character is not a cat girl. Jokin, Charlemagne, Frenzel, De Har Harlanart, Helnart. You stand accused of heresy against the Holy See of Ishgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers. These charges are false. The men and women of my line have ever opposed the Dravan Dravani Dravanian Dravanians. And I am no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have gladly shed blood in services to the Holy See. Condemn me, and you will strike a blow for the enemies of Ishgard. It is for Halone to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of, of gods and men. Leap from the cliff and entrust your fate to the Fury. <clears throat> the righteous shall take their place in Halone's halls. While the wicked shall reveal their dragon forms and be put to the, put to the sword. In the name of House Four Temps, I beseech you. Stay your hand. Howdy, Nian. Hello, every Nian. Hello, every Nian. Then the moon, eh? It is. Inquisitor. We are come on behalf of Lord Harshfant. My lord has uncovered the evidence which suggests that the charges against Lord Francil are without merit. We humbly request that the, these proceedings be suspended until such time as a full re-examination of the facts have, has, been re uh, has been conducted. <clears throat> Man, Mike. Lord Harshfant has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That he should harbor, harbor private doubts, I might have allowed. But, but, but that he would dare interfere in legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See, I cannot. <clears throat> to defy the will of an Inquisitor is to commit heresy, a crime for which there is but one punishment. We must hold them until Lord Harshfant arrives, Senna. And remember, no harm can come to the Inquisitor. Oakage. It blinded me. Okay. I'm still hitting. Dude, don't AoE this guy. trying to combo me. Yo, chill. Yeah, this thing procs more than I thought. Easy clap. Banger.
Those are using wyverns. They're teaming with the enemy. <laughs> Orshavant said literally the same exact thing I just did. Bear witness to the enemy. It's invulnerable. I must kill the healer. Stop. I must finish this quest. This wyvern is so annoying. Oh god, it's gonna hit. This thing procs way more often than I ever anticipated. Like, I feel like it never procs. Why are you running? I was trying to heal himself. What is this? Nah, bruh. You're done. I'm not going to let you heal. As you may have noticed... You got outplayed, buddy. It is not our intention to defy the will of the Archbishop. But this trial, like many others, I fear, has been orchestrated by enemies of House Elnart. They've used you and your fellows to sow discord, Inquisitor, to set brother against brother, that we may tear ourselves apart. Severed image imaginings of a desperate man. What proof have you of this? By the fury, a draconian ro a rosary. And the knight who refused to yield. It was he who summoned the wyvern. A heretic in the ranks of the temple knights. This has grave implications. Your claims would appear to have merit, Lord Harshfant. I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Fancel, pending further investigation. I trust you have not lost sight of that which brought you here to Corthus, Stena. Try to locate your errand ship and use it. Lord Harshfant, I have not the words to express my gratitude, but why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy. You're too loyal to betray Ishgard, and too devout to question your sentence. Had we been any slower, you'd been you'd have jumped off your own free will. Free will. I would have done whatever it took to redeem House Halnart, Halnart. Face alone, it did not come to that, but it profits us little to dwell on what might have been. Let us quit. To, let us quit this place, Senna. Pray visit me at Camp Dragonhead once you have recuperated. Thick, sounds good. -sh. The gods be damned. Dong 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 dong. Someone fishing over here? Oh no, that's their training. They sit in ice cold water. Honestly, that doesn't sound that bad. In Poland, we have a lot of uh, people who like. During the winter time, they they go to the beach and stuff, like swim in the waters. You look well, Senna. M may I say what a pleasure it was to fight alongside such a fearless and skillful warrior. Were it not for you, Lord Franco would surely have died defending the honor of his house, and I might well have perished at the hands of a heretic and his wyvern. 
House Fort Tempson and House Helnart shall never forget your forget your service. Now let us return to the matter of your missing enterprise. The man with knowledge of the enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information prove useful proves useful to you. How quickly the commoners' opinions change. They say Lord Francil is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring about the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Corthus several days before the Calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky at the observatorium during that period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gridania and landed near the stone vigil in the far northwest. The garrison is almost certainly seized... The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you will need an army of knights that, to have any hope of securing it. Though Horshafant is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so mayhap he can lend you a few. In any case, I have my, I've done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so you've at last located the Enterprise. I believe congratul congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil? Ah, uh, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by dragons for years, and access and all access is restricted by decree of House Durendir. I will write a letter to Lord Drillmont of Whiterim Front and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest you request Lord Francil do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead is concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well in your journeys. Then, uh, may Halone guide you. Thank you, Horshfond. Thank you, man. Forgot about the excessive amount of reading in A Realm Reborn. Crazy. Accept that later. Accept what later? Shrudge. People shrug. What have you done? Jesus. <laughs> Don't do that to me, man. I was like, are my notifications broken? Christ. Wonderful to see you again, Senna. If there's anything I can do to repay you, name it. The airship you seek is likely inside the stone vigil. It shames me to say that it, too, was once an outpost held by House Hel Helenart. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Dravanian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held us, held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength to, of arms to retake the stone vigil, House Durandere, instead, has been charged with a duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord Drummond. Drummond. Nevertheless, I will write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The Cravens who attempted to destroy the House Helnart have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us and towards you now as well which game gets game of the year 2023 tears of the kingdom or Baldur's gate well i only played tears of the kingdom and until i'm done with final fantasy i won't have an opinion on Baldur's gate unless i play it off stream but i i don't know um, so probably Tears of the Kingdom. 
Or Diablo 4. Boom. No, probably not Diablo 4. I'm just saying, like, both are auto wins for game of the year. They're the same. They're the same year. Well, I would default to... Here's the kingdom regardless. But I, I don't know. That's a very good question. We'll have to, I don't know, we'll see. What is, what, 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 what? What? What is this? Ah, uh, this is the DJ stuff. I understand now. Goodbye. I'm like, what is it? Why is there an army here? I hope this is the right Koyo. Bro! Ordinary Rock! I was literally just saying that I'm going to wait to play Baldur's Gate 3. It was a gamble. How many coils do you have? I didn't even suss it out when you added me on Steam. In the slightest. I just expected that, like, I don't know. You wanted add to add. I don't know. I just I, I didn't think about it. I didn't. I did not think about it. I didn't think about it. Thank you, though. I, I mean, like Jesus Christ. Now the real debate is figuring out how to schedule this amateur move, Mr. Streamer. Obviously, obviously. I thought he was just adding me on Steam. Well, maybe I'll like set up days to play Baldur's Gate on stream now. I don't know. I mean, I'll have to see what group is available nonetheless before I figure out anything just enjoy it thank you man i i appreciate it i truly do here's the kingdom might win as it has more innovative stuff well i can give you guys a proper opinion this time around <laughs> i'll just gate three now courtesy of ordinary rock none other of course Man just shows up, pops off, is like, hey, let me add you on Steam. And I'm like, oh, okay. Of course, I wouldn't put into consideration the fact that he's probably just going to give me the game. Just as I was saying that I'm probably going to delay playing the game until I'm done with Final Fantasy XIV. Of course. Only naturally. Um. So maybe next week we'll do some days in between. I have to get your profile name from Destiny Tracker. Ah, uh, that's right, because I have a uh, scuffed name so that people uh, struggle to find me. Yeah. This is not Koyo, it's like, weird thing. That man is no ordinary rock. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly not. He's extraordinary. He's an extraordinary rock. Well, I guess I can try to plan out... Maybe like two days a week next week or sometime soon. I can plan out to play Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it frequently, but I really want to finish all of the Final Fantasy story really bad. It is, it is my greatest desire right now. So I think I could plan out like... I have to figure out who's even available. Because everyone's playing something. And then I could do that. We shall see. 
Do FF for a while? Yeah, I mean, everyone's... Because I'm not ready for Baldur's. That's what I thought. Yeah. Finish Final Fantasy. I've recovered from Boy Tired. I can't believe I'm typing that. I mean, you're not ready for Baldur's because you have a lot of other things. Uh, what did you miss? I have Baldur's Gate 3 now. So I guess that's a thing. It's going to be delayed for a little bit, though. I'm not going to play it for a little bit longer. Again, Ordinary Rock. I, I appreciate it. Muchos gracias. Gracias. Double day one? Well, hold on, hold on. I, I am full focusing on the Final Fantasy story for now. I'm not going to play Baldur's Gate for a bit. Well, it's that time. Man shows up, gifts it, and then goes into Lurk. My plan is to finish streamer stuff, model transition, and the step counter. Take thine time. I would like to at least get past Heaven Sword before I do Baldur's Gate. Which shouldn't take too long. But if I can get past Heaven Sword, which will maybe be another week or two, then I'll do Baldur's Gate on a stream. And I will find a proper party of people to do that with. Uh, I don't know when yet, though. We'll see. My only rule at the moment is that I have to get past Heaven Sword, and then I will be willing to plan out a real playthrough. It, I should be done with my stream stuff by then. Very good. Very good. So I won't play it off stream or anything. I'll just wait. Should be fine. Should be okay. It could be me, you, Juvi, and I don't know if. Glenn will be around, so I could just ask Fausto, and we'll we'll see. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. You desire an audience with Lord Drillmont, do you? Ha! I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. Okay, well, here are my letters. What do we have here? Letters from Lord Horshafont and Rensel, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Hmm. But even what to do, let me in. Your time could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillmont's attentions are focused solely on the Stone Vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Alboy. Alboy. Yes, Sir Alboy. Did Shirley accommodate you and uh, accommodate you? Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. I promised myself that I will get through the story as much as I can before I play another game. Um, I did kind of plan out maybe streaming What's in a Box today, but then I was like... I think I'm going to go eat before What's in the... Dude, wh where did he come from? What am I looking for right now? A voice? Eat on stream? No. No, because if one day I get used to it and I do it more frequently, and then all of a sudden I am like, I'm done with being a VTuber because it's, I don't know, I don't want to spend or something, I don't know. And I end up like being a cam streamer, then I would have to figure out a way to not suffer. Thinking about the fact that I would eat on stream with a cam on. I can't do it. I won't do it. Sir Bru Brunadier. Bade speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillmont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for head. Chururjin. Ch oh, my nose. Uh, Chururjin? Churigin? I don't know. Astidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? I was just there, and I thought that was the right place to go to, and obviously I wasn't. I'm struggling on Ninja Train. Oh, man, dude. I have to tell you, 
I had to get no ping to like comfortably use ninja because it was just difficult to like work with so I got no ping which costed me like honestly not a lot per year but still it exists and it costs money I didn't feel like I had a lingering desire to pay more money than I had to for this video game and now I use it for casting and whatnot too because it is comfortable I don't know I feel more comfortable with no ping and casting, especially on the West Coast servers while we're East Coasters and we have no East Coast servers ever. You will never do it, do that, but okay. That's what you think, Yuland. The amount of times I've considered doing that at this point are quite wild. Especially when I saw, like, the new, I don't want to say meta, but, like, the new high expectation for debuts where people have animated videos in the beginning. And, like, these crazy things that happen during the stream. And then they have, like, their overlays for the theme of their character. And then they have their character themselves. And then they have... Followage. What are you followaging for? Four and a half years. Well, and you thought I would have done it by now? Is that what you're saying? And I've seen one picture of you on a side channel on Instagram. Yeah, you ain't doing it. Um... Let me put it this way. If... If, like... I make a, a more firm decision towards VTubing stuff... Probably not. I have two, th two paths I want to debate between. At the moment. I don't know which one I will take. But. I've been more keen on streaming Final Fantasy. And a lot of Final Fantasy streamers seem to. Create a VTuber. Off of their like main. Warrior of Light. Um, The reason I don't want to do that. Is because. I don't want to be forever locked down. To Final Fantasy 14. In the event that I get bored of it like tomorrow. But I have debated that. And then I have my other actual prime Raccoon Boy VTuber stuff. I just need to pay for the model. And you don't get all that done. It was going to be like earlier this year. However. Yeah. Vegas happened and stuff. And okay, I have my savings from like anything that happened on stream. So I have a dono goal. You're going to say you're considering going cam streamer? No, not at the moment. And the next day you re-debut re as, I don't know, a Fumo avatar. That'd be great. I saw a picture of Aiko as well. Whoa. <laughs> um, I don't like showing myself on the internet like that because, I don't know. Maybe if I lived alone, like, somewhere in God's nowhere in, like, Utah or Ohio, I'd be more comfortable with that. But, I don't know. I just, I don't like showing my face on the internet because... If, if somehow magically I become recognizable and all of a sudden they're like, Hey, wait, I saw this guy go into this house and my family's... I don't want to put them in danger or anything. It's my prime... Prime like focus on that stuff. If I moved out, lived alone, or something, I'd be more keen on doing it. Or if I lived in a streamer house, which will never happen, but you know, if I had roommates that didn't care, yeah, that'd be cool. Are you here to visit a patient, madam? What's this? Letter of introduction from House Fortemps and Elnart? For documents such as these, you needn't seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak to Sir Gudernaw. You should know Lord Drillmont's current whereabouts. If you get the money to build a house, I can get the land to build it on. True. If you're, if you're a streamer and you live in a house, is that not a streamer house? So do you consider what I live in right now a streamer house? I would say no. I would say a streamer house is a house where 
at least two or, or more streamers live. I think it needs more than like one streamer for it to be a streamer house. Honestly, it should be like more than like two. The houses usually do not work. The houses that usually do not work. Yeah, I agree. I think it's better to just live with like roommates or friends and just let that last as it does. But I'm afraid that I will live with friends and that's when the red flags really start. Because you can spend a week with friends, and it's fine, right? But once you start spending months, and like days, and weeks, and years, and you like realize, oh, this person is really dirty, they don't actually clean anything. Or like, oh, this person doesn't shower. Oh, this person doesn't... You never truly know someone until you live with them, that's what I'm saying. You'll hate everyone at the end. I feel like no. I feel like I'm confident enough and I'm pretty lenient and I'm a reasonable person with people that I live with. Like friends that I meet, IRL. If I get comfortable, yeah, it gets a little like, a little sus, obviously. You saw that second hand, first hand, whatever. But like, eventually I calm down. I'm like a normal human being, in quotes. By normal human being, I mean I don't leave my room, I stream, I eat, that's the only time I really leave my room, and then uh, I sleep. All I do, my innocent ears. Streamer house, what about a streamer compound? I mean, sure. What reason have you barging into? Oh, I see. Well, you're in luck. Lord Drillmont is just up these stairs. There's a no, though. I would not expect much. House Durandere as a whole does not hold adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and... Sussently? What is that? I don't even know what that word means. Succinctly. Succinctly. In a brief and clear expressed manner. Oh. This game, time and time again, I learn new words from it, like succinctly. Okay. I mean, I guess it's just successfully, but succinctly, but okay. Weird word. Show proper respect and it shall be returned in kind. Okay, H, thank you. How weird. What a word. Sir Gordon O permitted you, permitted you passage. Very well, speak. Boom. Boom. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with Skelkin to secure an airship that may or may not be there? Are you the avatar of the Fury herself? We're the signs of the seventh dawn, Lord Jolmont. You know our name, and you know our deeds. We are come to Corthus to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek Enterprise, the airship of Master Sid Nan Nangarland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive, but that's impossible. Indeed it is, my lord. Do not be deceived by their own hon eyed hon eyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Ishgardian history, as Hart Durandair marshals its forces to retake the stone vigil who should appear in White Rim Fort, but these three mysterious strangers. Sid Garland, missing and presumed dead since the, before the Calamity, and two signs of the Seven Dawn, a defunct band of misfits, recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandois, grandiose lies, but I should hope that the Durandere would have, a, have greater sense. I know not why these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I believe I nearly believe this mummer's farce. You three will not enter the outpost until we have reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intention intentions as well. They are our true intentions. Yo, get rid of this guy. It could be moons before House Durandere purges the dragons from the stone vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. 
did Senna. We must do whatever it takes to earn Drillmon's trust. Understood? I'm so sick of this guy. Can we just kill him? You're the last responsible for the commotion upstairs. I words travel fast in Whitebrim Fort. I gather you still wish to change Lord Drillmon's mind? Question mark. This is one thing I learned about the man in my mind in my time here, that he listens to and respects the opinions of those who under his command. Went over the barracks, and he's sure to take notice. How you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor souls, decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contained no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could prepare them steaks using mud puppy tail meat. Wouldn't be a quality meal, it's true, but it'd be a damn sight better than nothing. If you've a mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in Denifin Pass? And take this bottle of vinegar. Locals say it weakens mud puppies by clogging their mucus glands, drying their skin. Okay, damn, let's get... Can I get one of those for my nose? My nose is like stuff for all eternity forever I'm a little sick of it part of it I don't mind the, the skin drying just uh, hit me with one of the uh... my innocent ears brown a streamer house is specifically a house with multiple streamers I wouldn't mind a streamer house but again like I said there's I have a fine line First and foremost, I'm mostly content with anything and everything because I will leave my room maybe thrice a day. Unless I have a bathroom connected to my room directly, then I will leave my house maybe or leave my room like once a day. That solely depends on food, water, atmosphere, and if people actually want to do stuff. I think like a streamer house would be really good for me because it would give me more more of a reason to leave the house and do stuff. But I don't know. I'm gonna get hit. Yep. Why is this thing so tanky? My gear just not good enough. Do I need a shield? Do I have to have a shield equipped with this? Oh my god, it all makes sense. My defense is trash because I have one of the uh, the scepters. I don't think they say they hand out scepters whatsoever after uh, after you're done with a Realm Reborn. Like maybe Heaven Sword has one scepter, and after that, there's nothing. Yeah, I always thought about it, about like, if not a streamer house, just like having roommates that are friends and just living in the house. Um, it would be cool. I think, I think it would be cool, but I don't know. Huh? Ow. And they were roommates. I guess housemates over roommates. Sharing a room sounds like pain. No, 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 no.
Sharing a room is pain, suffering, and misery. Merciful Neptune. High potion. Girl eyes are disabled for 11 minutes. Okay, well. Whatevs, dude. Dude. It should do less damage now because I have the shield, but still, man, I hate it. wonder how much different this would be if I had sleep on my hotbar. I don't think this will work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Wow, it worked. Okay. Yo, W healer, actual healer? Yo, either fairy, or no, either Adam and Toys, actually W server. Yo, I'm transferring over to here. Someone that heals you in the wild? Oh my god, I was supposed to do that the whole time. It all makes sense now. I was like, why is this thing so strong? I thought that was something I have to do, like, later. It was one of those, like, capture points. God oh, damn, this is taking forever. Pray. <laughs> Bless your soul. Utah Gamer House? That sounds pretty okay. They just stood there as a blue mage, and then when I died, they were like, oh, our Nor, and then now I'm just, I'm chilling. They healed me. Actual W gamer. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't mind a Utah gamer house. But that would imply that we would have gamers there. And I'm not a gamer. All I play is Final Fantasy XIV, critically acclaimed, and Sometimes VR chat. And critically acclaimed Baldur's Gate 3. Game of the year, probably. It didn't work, did it? Aye. It was an idiotic idea. Oh dear, remind me to never wander near mud puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road. This should only take a moment. I'll just need you to take to do this. Oh, I'll just need to do this and this and voila, 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 voila. Thank you, brain. What are you doing, man? 
Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights here and up above. Here you go for you, man. Didn't think... Don't think I didn't see you and Cook conspiring together. Let me make this perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a steak, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. Damn straight, take it. Yes, I feel invigorated. Refreshed. Good, 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 good. good. I poisoned them just beforehand. We ought to, uh, to receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this godforsaken waste. Here you go. Is that a fresh cooked steak? Alone's blessing upon you, my friend, mud puppy meat or not. It's the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. In a what? Fortnight. Everyone uh, must we train to maintain our skills at arms, yet we uh, never are we to receive proper sustenance. Take this. You are a godsend, my friend. Do few appreciate that house dur durin there. Must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. Easy collab. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, uh, but I've forgotten about the hardworking churru at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. I think this steak to the to Sena. To Nota? She's doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients, she's neglected to attend to her own. Damn. Damn indeed, damn indeed. Donde esta? You. Beg your pardon, madam, but I'm busy at attending to this man. I'll be with you in a moment. No, eat this. That, I'm to think of it. It's been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat the rest right away. No worries. Me, um. Yo, this is Troll. I know this is for Caster. I have a word with you, Senna. It concerns the Churrigians. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient alembics for their needs. See? So I use some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced alembic, both as a gesture of goodwill and a means to help me recover my memories, since working with my hands kindles fam familiar feelings. All that required to uh, complete the device are the cores of the three ice sprites. Uh, cores of three ice sprites, though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there's a way to alter their pr properties so that they draw the cold wind within, or cold within rather than radiate it without or out. It must sound ridiculous to impossible, even. Yet somehow I know it will work. Okay. Hey, I trust you, man. I shouldn't, but I do. Garlean. I hate Garleans. Really, there's a better way to leave. Wicked. And ape epic. Wicked and epic. Epic games. The shield's kind of goofy. You know, I almost killed that thing without using uh, the thing to weaken him. That's kind of funny. You're meant to weaken it at the very beginning because then it doesn't kill you, I guess. What do I get fire for? Level 60. Okay, so I have a toy. 
Why aren't they weaker to fire spells? It would simply make sense for them to melt away from another element of, you know, obvious weakness, but I guess not. Reroll ads are on. Run an ad to disable them. I got really confused just now because there was a beat playing in the background. I was like, what is that? You the, obtain the cores? If so, please show them to me. Boom, boom, boom. What an amazing device, but is it truly an Alembic, sir? Never seen it. It's something like it before, I guess. I too am unsure. What to make of this machine. While it's certainly impressive, I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, it is as effective as he... If it is as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create. The lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. With the, the kindly stranger, bearer of gifts wondrous and strange for his generosity comes at a cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. Did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. You almost succumbed to the temptation proffered by these, these unbelievers. Kill him. What does that mean? Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we inter interrupted Lord Francis' trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Yeah, because he's clearly a traitor too. And we will find that out, surely. Before we can persuade Lord Drillmon to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Guillaume Guillaume that we are not his enemy. But just how might we, be, we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthus. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with people of Whitebrim Front. Here are findings of, with Alphano in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from them. Where do you go? Yes, of course I know of him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to uh, Whitebrim Front, several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall a, that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day, and that and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's Watch. While the stronghold slept, we uh, walked the, hall, the walls and patrolled the exterior in a dark, darkness black as pitch. My routine took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase. I slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed, where I had lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Giyami rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe my life, madam, and I one day hope to repay his kindness. Right, right, right. Not sus at all. Really. I'm the foggiest of whom you speak. Unbeliever, I. We have learned of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you have hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Well, you say you have no idea of whom we speak. Now I'm confused. Patrick? This is the most Normandy name I've seen in the entire video game. Under Inquisitor Yemi's Watchful gaze, unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep, so great 
is, is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly, righteous man to protect us. How am I supposed to trust a dude who is, who's named Patrick next to Gintramont? Lodile. Alphano. Brian Brian Dambert Murais. And then all of a sudden there's a dude named Patrick. Doesn't make sense. The Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be offered every courtesy and utmost respect. Probably a liar. What if he's a fraud? He did the, the Harry Potter thing where he became uh, a professor of the school. But he's not actually a professor of the school. He's in disguise. Shiver. So he is cold. He's who have yet to notice my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid no mind as it, as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Never mind. Our journey journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with some this irksome Inquisitor. Tells me, Sid tells me you have been busy making inquiries. Yes. Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held high and uh, held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect. He has no other reasons for hinder hindering us now. Let us, let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained, Senna. Mayhap they will provide insight into Inquisitor Gimme's motivation. I don't remember what happens here. I don't remember if he's like a fraud. I, I just, I've forgotten. I remember. Something troubles me about that Wounded Knight's account. He claims he... Bell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate. Yes? But the main road leads to the su southwestern gate. Since we arrived in White Brimfront, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from the north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not but a deep chasm. Assuming Sir Jola is not misremembering, the Inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on it, on this mystery. There we go, Alpha No. Pro detective guy over here. Yo, I'm chillin'. Heal. Immediately. Plasmoids? No. It'd be pretty, pretty funny if I died because of this. Oh my god. Alpha no. The Inquisitor is dead. The real one. I thought it was something like that, but I just could not remember for the life of me. Found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let it, let's see it. Boom. I'm giving the contents of this encycl encyclical. I believe you have just made the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Gimme. 
Newly come to Corthus, Cor Corthus, and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity. For even if he were to behave oddly, who dare question the wisdom of papal appointment? Still, while this is incontrovertible, proof, incontrovertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity. Or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Senna, before he learns that his de before he learns that his deception has been discovered. We found the truth. He's a fraud. Blood for blood. Since Lord Drillmont has already been turned against us, I fear that this that this encycl encyclical alone will not serve enough serve to convince him of our claims. But what might persuade a man to so quick to disregard the endorsement of two high houses? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. A certain knight were to provide a testimony that supports our claim. Yes, mayhap, that is the only way left to us. Lord, confront Sir Jolat with the evidence that you, dis you discovered to see if it helps him recall the truth that night. As a, man, as a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such horrifying revelations. Nevertheless, he must. we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. Indeed, indeed. Thank you, Alpha No. Oh, you have returned. Is there something else you wanted to ask? Look at this. The Inquisitor is imposter? Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He's a paragon of virtue. A dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that this is all a lie? You are so certain that your ludicrous story is true. Then go and speak with Sir Brunilla. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor to carry me there. But will never speak against the man who saved my life. But I will never speak against the name of the man. Very well. Brunilla. You. I do not believe you. I do not believe I know you, madam. Pray move along. Trouble me no more. Look at this. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Doubts you. You know, you know, don't you? Fury take me. I pray this day would come. When Sir Jola gave chase, I followed close behind him. He didn't fall. One of the Dravanian but, but abominations lashed out at him. Nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He he knew things about me, about my family. Secrets I had, had never told any, uh, told another. He said if I kept his confidence, Virgila and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes marked him as an inquisitor. But I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Jolot to the infirmer infirmary. And on his first night in White Room Front, Inquisitor Yami was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good moral standing seized whilst in possession of draconian rosaries. As I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. And I, wa I wanted to confess to Lord Drillmont. What? I wanted to confess to Lord Drillmont, wanted to put an end to the, to the madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing until Lord Francis was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he had he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southwest of Wiper in front. So I took several from his chest and planted the, them, sh them in shipments, something I accidentally clicked, against House Elnart. Thus uh, exonerating Lord Francil and casting doubt on other other recent trials. And that is the entire truth, I swear. Alone, forgive me for not acting. Whatevs, lady. Do better next time, I guess. Slash RP cringes at you.
Braconians. There's an imposter among us. M among us. I should get a sound thing on my stream deck that just goes among us. Or one of those like dun 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 Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you three I will not grant you three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. Yeah? Check this out, buddy. There had be a very good explanation for, I, for why you were carrying these rosaries. And where did you find this papal encyclical? Encyclical. Very take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic. Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale. But this evidence and your testimony could have no other explanation. I misjudged you and your friends, Senna. And for that, I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost. But first, I need I need to beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal imposter to justice. Justice reigns from above. <laughs> the heretic among us. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocent uh, countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another po poor soul whom he has branded a heretic. If we hurry, there may be time. There may still be time to prevent further tragedy. Let me your strength, Senna. Together, let's put it, let us put an end to this imposter's heresy once and for all. Damn straight. What if I was the heretic and now you're just trusting in me? I mean, I guess I have proof in the papers. Paper proof. Nonetheless, pathetic. Pathetic. Bro, what? Oh my god, I was like, what is this thing doing here? One of the, uh... The hunts. I guess we're almost level 50. Seven levels off. We still got a long way. But... Like, we're nearing Praetorium, I'm pretty sure. Good to have you with us, miss. When Lord Drillmont arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are you prepared for that? Ready for action. You don't need trouble, so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Halone's halls. Only the wicked... But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you, I have never questioned the teachings of alone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. Mother Drillmond, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am presenting, I am at present conducting an inter interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I named the heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Giyami and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, your own Ithan kin. Ithan kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ah, uh, grave allegations indeed, but you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drillman, Drillmont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade? You speak to me. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence. Ah, all your all are complicit in these crimes. For all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Drillmont, then come. Let us see how Ishgardian steel cares against Dravan. 
Vanian Bang and Claw. Kill. These freaking Dravanians. I like that it still gives them the name. Inquisitor... Whatever. After being accused. get freeze oh 40 oh man i already have the quest line for it and i just haven't done it damn it transpose man Stop vulnerping me. Chill. Bruh. He's so dead. Man, I should just finish off the army over here. That would have been way more effective. My glimmers dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. You may not recall how many the many Ishgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons from the stone vigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, white brim sh front shall fall. But yeah, whatever, buddy. Fine to the last. Leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserves not better. Then I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should have you should never have been asked to intervene in Ishgardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the manner which you brought into our midst midst. This pastime you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me at White Brim Front. And bring your associates. Okay. I'll just teleport there. Yeah. Things I foresaw 101. Bro. I 
I suppose there is no teleport. So we're just gonna mount our way there. Alpha no. We did it. Where have you been sent out, hmm? The false inquisitor has been slain, has he? Yes, well. This was a tale always to always like to end in bloodshed. Though you have overcome the latest in a long line of un unfortunate impediments, I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. Indeed. Indeed. I'm sure you will agree. It is past time we entered the stone vigil. Pre pre hey, Lord Drillmont, a visit and remind him of his obligations to us. Sin and I will follow Anon. I will do that. But I will not do that today. Today is Jover. I'm going to go get some food and chill before what's in the box. So. For those of you who hung out, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, for hanging out. I will be back. I don't know. Probably Monday. I don't know about tomorrow yet. I will have to see. Scheduling. Times. People. Everything that's going on. Um, but nonetheless, thank you for hanging out. I greatly appreciate it. Remember to eat your free, brush your teeth, all the jazz. Follow my socials right over yonder. Join my Discord. Good place to be. Might be bringing back movie nights soon. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But until then, have a good rest of your days. See you all... Probably Monday at 1 p.m. EST, as per usual. 1 p.m. EST. I'm going to go get my dindins and go hang out and chill. And then What's in the Box will be at, on Elite's channel in less than an hour. About 45 minutes or so. So, go check that out. If you're free, brush your teeth, all jazz. Uh, go and scatter today. I don't really have any targets. So. Yes. That'll be it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. If you're free, brush your teeth. And yeah, I'll see you probably Monday. Have a good weekend, everybody. Adios.